Barry isn't human. Barry doesn't count. And welcome to the perfectly timed end of the song start of my clap in an awkward silence and mainly to dark souls the first game it's remastered but it's the first dark souls the souls that are dark in in the series but this is the first how is everyone going i hope you're all going super duper well, well you must i actually really have like me a new stream holy shit two years <laughs> I actually have a new stream software set up, so it's a little bit awkward when I'm navigating things because it's different. But a giant thank you there, Lunch Snake, for the resub of yes, two years, 24 months. That is absolutely insane. Thank you so much, Lunch Snake. That is incredible. Jesus, time fly. It does not feel like two years. It really doesn't feel like two years. That's insane. But thank you. Obviously, enjoy the emotes, the the sub chat, the soundboard, which with uh, soundboard has been updated. Everybody. Corvus definitely knows that goat sound got me earlier um, and all of that jazz. But again, thank you, Lunch Snake, for the ongoing support, pretty much like from when I started as well. Um, but hello as well to to Boom and Corvus and Drawba. I, I know you're looking forward to this one, Aussie and Sleepy and Barry, of course. Um, I'm ho so hyped for this, for this stream. This has been a long time coming. Initially, when I was streaming, I never was going to do Dark Souls, but Drawba was like, do it. Do it. And Drawba never stopped saying do it. And it's paid off. Because the more he said it, other people came in and said it. And just, it built. So now here we are with Dark Souls. Um, you're here. <laughs> uh, what have we here? Boom, this is Dark Souls. I think I've talked to you about this game. It's the terrifying one where I'm going to be murdered. Um, can I put this... Of course, my stream deck, which I've set up, is now wanting not to work. <laughs> Drawba to tell us. Yes. That was pretty much it. So let's... Let's stop the music and get into the character creation here. So I am, I've actually, normally with a series this big, I would go out of my way to, um, to look up a little bit more of the history and stuff, but I'm not going to do that until after this stream, because for, even though this, is this actually capturing my game? I've either got the world's, nope, okay, it's capturing. It's a really long delay on Twitch today. Um, that's like a five second delay, but basically, um, I've somehow, throughout Dark Souls, not had any of the history or any anything really to told to me about specifics other than that I definitely need to play it. There's no sound showing. There is when I'm in the menu. So let me know about the sound here. Um, It's capturing video. It is. It's the new software wanting to worry you. I know, right? That's what I'm anxious about. Do you want to make Jeff a horrible abomination? I want to see what's... What, what's our options? What are our options for Horrible Abomination? I'm getting prepared to see a lot of backseat gaming in chat and people obnoxiously dropping unsolicited essays full of lore in chat. I- it's going to be interesting, Sleepy. It's going to be interesting. I'm actually working on getting a sound, a, a specific sound to play when people get particularly salty. I'm looking forward to it. If I come out of Dark Souls and I don't run into one person who says, I'm physically hurt watching you. I will be very upset. If I don't hurt, if I don't cause mental pain to other people throughout my entire play of this, I've failed. Adjust brightness until flame is visible and dragon invisible. Yeah, that, because it tends to be a little bit... I might do. There you go. Okay. Uh... I'm going to go- I'm going to be using an Xbox controller for this as well. All of this is fine. Movement. Alright. Lock or target- oh, okay, so right trigger. To lock on target or reset camera. That is something I need to remember! So, trigger in Talos for lock on. 
It is really relaxing music. You're right. This is quite chill. I hear sound. You sound excellent. Thank you for that. Can hear menu sounds. Great, great, great. Um, a horrible abomination. So obviously we can. Oh, I can be a male and a female. Well, not both. I can't be both. But I could. You know, it's giving me the choice. So, what should we be? Can I give my character a name? Yeah, I can. I got this useful advice for you. Don't die. Follow these top tips to see you through. And don't die. But you're playing Dark Souls, so you're gonna die, you're gonna die, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. Oh, you died. Thank you for the, the song launch, Nick. When I found that sound, I was very happy. I was very happy with that sound. Um, Jeff, I'm shocked. I know this, right? It was a good song. It's a legit bop. Yeah, I was very excited when I found it. So, um, okay, a warrior. It's a fearless, a fearless warrior, weapon expert, high strength dexterity. That is not what I am. Knight, low ranking knight. Yeah, that sounds about right. High HP, solid armor, not easily toppled. That seems to be what I might do. Wanderer. Garbage. Got it. Thief. You have a key? Why do you have a key? What does your key do? Bandit. Savage bandit. High strength wields heavy battle axe. I like being a bandit. Hunter. Boat. No, we're not doing that. Sorcerer. No. Why do I have an afro? I hope I can change that. Pyromancer. Never mind. Swamp pyromancer. Casts fire spells and wields a hand axe. Ooh. Depraved? Hang on. I can be depraved? <laughs> Why am I naked? Unclothed enigma, only armed with club and old plank shield. It's a bad thing that I want to go that, isn't it? Like, I shouldn't do that if I want to have an even okay time. Um, hey, Wanderer is cool. <laughs> Wanderer is cool. Me. Garbage. Master Key sounds like a smartest name for a lockpick. That is it, by the sounds of it. So it opens several doors early in game. So let's not go with that, then. Cleric. Nah. Healing miracles. Pfft, I don't have friends to heal in this. I shouldn't. So I'm either thinking pirate vita fatality is 10. I'm actually thinking either knight or pyromancer. What do you guys think? You don't have a lot of dexterity, but you don't need dexterity when you're burning things to the ground. Who has more faith? Why is the knight just better on everything? Where is the knight bad? Like... There's a humanity score. That's cute. Um, <clears throat> pyro starts, uh, pyro starts at level one. Magic is, oh, 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 because like he's level five. Yeah, you can see, you can start at different levels. Yes, Barrett, if you look at, they all are starting at different levels here. So the depraved starts at level six, but all their stats are 11. That's neat. And a low basis, how are you going? I hope you're going well. Magic is easy mode, FYI. All right, so. Shall we put our first choice in Dark Souls up to a vote, everyone? Whether or not it's a knight or a pyromancer. Or does anyone else have any specific... Like, none of the other classes really are jumping out at me. I like the idea of, of axing people. Um, each level in Dark Souls is one start point, basically. So, if you have a... Why... Out of curiosity, why do they start different classes at different levels? Is it because the pyromancer is, like, as Dorob was saying, magic it makes it easier? Um, and if magic makes it easier, then, like, is the knight way harder? Because the knight's all, like, I have to come to your face to stab it. No, I'm not playing Hunter. <laughs> Literally faceless, when Hunter came up, I was immediately like, no. Um, because of the stat distribution. Pick Pyromancer. You reckon the Pyromancer? Like, I'm kind of leaning towards the Pyromancer myself. But also the knight is big and tanky. And I like being big and tanky. But I love fire. I don't know what to do. Barry, make a decision for me. And that way we can blame you. I vote for fire. That's the second vote for fire. You know what? Let's go fire. We're going fire, everyone. We're going Pyromancer. Gift. Um, Ben and Warrior would be good here. But not knight. Is knight just a poor, a bad choice all around? What's gift? Is this a one-time gift? 
explodes upon impact. Went through. I'm so torn as to what to do. Because um, I know not. I, I have no idea. I may hate magic. That's the thing. And I might be like, actually, I wanted to block this entire time. Because I guess, I don't know. Hmm. Twin humanities. Tiny sprite called humanity. Sometimes found on carcasses. I don't need that. Binoculars. Boring. Pendant. Trinket. No effect. But fond memories come for travelers. Master key. So I can just... Why start as a thief if I can have a master key here? Like... I guess you get your special tribal ring. Grant small increase to HP. Old witch ring. Gift from a witch. Ancient ring with no obvious effect. STD bomb. The black fire bomb. Explosive on impact when thrown. More deadly than STD bomb. <laughs> I'm guessing it means standard bomb, right? Yeah. Anything you pick isn't a big deal because you can just do something else later. Oh, I see. Okay. Then I'm going to get a master key. Just to screw over the thief. Oh, I can check. Pop heavy. Like that. Lower. I can just make very strange shapes. Shall we have to? No, I, okay. I was going to go tiny head, but the head looks like a child, which is upsetting. Let's go a large upper body. A terrifyingly large upper body for this pyromancer. Yeah, I like that. Face. Delta Farmer. That's specific. Um, also has a bandit knife which does bleed damage. Oh, bleed damage is cool. Um, the pyromancer skipped leg day. Indeed. No, no leg day for this pyromancer. Oh, that's terrifying. Dragon Scholar. I don't like the expression of this one. <laughs> Dubious Khan, classic Xena. Can I be purple? Oh wait, hang on, it has little descriptions! Face from a distant eastern land of almond ice and thin lips. <laughs> Great Swamp Heretics face prejudice for their atypical looks. Classic Xena. Thoughtful, mature, face common in historical Xena. Ominous creatures associated with the Earl of Karim. Dubious Karim. Jubilant Katarina. Jovial features of a Katarina, known for festivity and drink. Look common in Thorland. Dragon's Claw. Intelligent, sharp lines, but scholarly looks invite insult. Beautiful face of refined common, dealt commonly seen in face commoner. Nah, I don't think it really matters which, do you know what? This one is the one that's upsetting me the most, so let's go that one. Hair. Oh, it plucks out the entire character. Talos wants to be a typhoon. <laughs> People from Karim look evil for some reason. Just to, you know what, that fits our character well. Long hair, I love how the hair has descriptions. As if like, I couldn't understand what it is. Ponytail A. Long hair pulled back and bound with bangs. Long hair, bangs, and bangs pulled back and bound. I like that they actually changed the description between the two. That is hilarious. Oh wow, I look like an evil witch. Can I cover my face up? Is that a possibility? Very short. Wave. Straight A. No, this is the haircut that all the women have on Tinder, and it's horrifying. Um... Let's not go pigtails, that was Reggie. I can't get a companion in this, can I? We'll go this one. We'll go ponytail B. Colour. Oh, it's just the hair. Dark purple! Can I have light purple? No, we'll go dark purple then. Um, I guess this is us, guys. This is us. Ooh, there are sliders in later ones. Um... I would love a slider. She looks like she's going to eat the manager. I know, right? Like, she's coming to complain and eat the manager. You can cut. Oh, I can customize. <gasps> Hang on. Okay. So I can. I can cuss. <gasps> okay. Hang on, hang on. What can I mature? Hormones? <laughs> I've never seen it described as hormones. Wait, why does a young hormones make me have no eyes? Oh, and also change my skin color. <gasps> what? This is a little bit terrifying. Maturity. Same. What is... Sure, what it's changing. Push to the other side of the way and spam random. Oh, and spam random? Okay. 
Um, don't you know that only old people can be white? Apparently, lunch snake. Apparently, only old people can be white. Oh my god, what are we making? You know what? Actually, I'm gonna go the reverse for that one. It's beautiful. Uh. Oh. It doesn't. That actually came out normal. I thought we were going to get something a little bit better, but we didn't. What face should we have? What is, what's the- what face- oh my god, don't go from that angle. What face screams let me save you? Be my friend. Um. Try trying to get the top slider all the way? Oh! Hang on. Different. Oh, because that one's making you... Wow. That's disturbing, but okay. Now we go random? No, it just changes... Yeah, I thought that would be a bit more random. That's fine. That face, that face, that face is great. There's a weird neutrality to it. Like, I don't know which if I'm what I'm looking at there. It looks like the human being from community a little bit. Okay, this is what we're going to go customize. Customize face further? Wait, hang on, never mind, we're back. Oh my god, you really can customize everything. That's better. We should be a big forehead because we're smart. Oh, I'm getting our chins disappeared. Can I check that? Um, I think our face is melting into itself. Oh no. This is fine. I can make this better. I can make this better by making everything... Oh, oh, portion... That's... That's about right. Face is... I don't know what that is. Okay. Can I have a chin back? Is there more options? Nose length. Uh Our face is kind of coming. Oh. That's <laughs> I feel like it's going to kill sleep paralysis demon. I know, right? This looks like Andrew Tate. Okay, yeah, we're changing it then. We're not having Andrew Tate. How do I make it not look like Andrew Tate? What's the opposite of Andrew Tate? Like I know just a decent human being, but how do There. That doesn't look like Andrew Tate, right? This looks like the aliens. What do we think of this? Do we like this face? Brown and plump is the opposite of Andrew Tate. I'm kind of, I like this one. What do you guys think? I'm so scared. This is a good face. Look at this. This, this looks like a, this looks human. Rotate face. There we go. We can just, that's, that's definitely helped something. Um, it looks like an alien-human hybrid. I think that's kind of a good idea. Now we look surprised. There. How does... Yeah, what about... Can I... Because it changes other things at the same time. Now I look sad. I don't want to look sad. Now we normalized it. Let's undo that. Okay. So that does that. And that's sort of given us a bit more face back, but we don't want that. You get here. A cave dweller who squeezed their face and skull permanently when climbing out of the underground holes. It does feel like that. What have we done? We've made art sleepy. Oh, it's getting... I think it's becoming more human. That's unfortunate. I want my alien hybrid back. Give me my alien hybrid. Oh, okay. No, see, that's going more caveman -y, so we need more small there. I want the eyes to be different. Okay. 
this looks like I've cut somebody's face off and is I'm wearing it like a mask. Do you know what I mean? This looks like I've glued another person's face to my character. I think I like it. Hmm. The forehead hair is clipping out. I like it. Yeah. This is a good face. This is a good face. Um, hey. I miss it. I heard and thought you said we've made sleepy. Oh, <laughs> we've made sleepy. Um, I know the episode you're talking about, Lunch Snake, and I entirely agree. It's terrifying. We can change the eyes. That's good, isn't it? They look great. You know, they're not really making them wider, are they? In, out. Oh, that's what you're doing. Can I put you all the way out, then? No, I don't like that. Let's put them really close together, so that way we can save on glasses. We can just get one giant monocle. Yeah. One giant monocle. This is called bargain saving. Oh, I like it. Look at that face. That's the face of something that comes out of a well and eats your dreams. Eye position. If we put them higher, we'll be able to see further. That's good. I like it. Pupil. Acceptable. Um, I don't like this. Or the FBI. <laughs> this face looks like we need to call a doctor. Or the FBI. I think it's going spectacular. Can we move our ears, though? I think our ears are a bit of a problem. Um, what is that? This is Jeff, Ozzy. Have you ever heard of a Monster Factory? It feels like a series you'd like. I haven't heard of that, but you're right. I think I would like that. I feel like I would be good at it. Chin. No, I want a chin. We need a chin. Can we get the chin to jut out really far from our face so that we could maybe attach metal on it and use it as a weapon? So we could just go around and use our chin as an attack weapon. I think that would be good. Protrusion. No, we want protrusion big, so you've got to go that way. No. It's hard to get a chin large enough to attack people with. We're getting there. No, no, I need you to go out. Nope, wrong way. But I need... I want to slide it so the chin comes out more from our face. Alright, I think that's about as far as we're going to get it. I think that helps the overall look. Pretty far out. Um... Its eyes are on its front of the head, so we know it's a predator. Exactly. You know, it's like an owl. I've been reading Berserk lately, and Jeff is looking like an apostle. <laughs> Maybe see if we can make the mouth go back in. Oh yes, good, good idea, Barry. Well, make mouth. This is the thing. <laughs> that sound has never been more relevant. Um. So, lip shape. Okay. So, oh, oh, hang on. Lipstick. Very quickly, guys. We can give it lipstick. We need to make it pretty. Now we know. <laughs> and knowing is half the battle. Let's let's do the dark red lipstick so that Jeff can go on a date one day. That's kissable. Yes. People will look at that and go, "Oh, I I can't wait to kiss that." That's that's great for kissing. Can I make it like really wide like a horse maybe? Cuz like like you know, make it so that I could Oh, no, we're going to make you happy. You deserve happiness, Jeff. <laughs> Is this happiness? We should probably always have our mouth open as well, a little bit, ready to bite. That's good. Um, does Jeff deserve happiness? Um, the other half is violence. I am very good at violence. <laughs> we'll defeat you with the power of friendship and the gun I found. <laughs> The other slide. Oh, mouth go up. Oh, okay. No, that's starting to feel a bit weird there. So let's make you go there. In that case, can I put you the other way? Yeah, I think that's better. That way it makes it jut out a little bit more. And now. Yes, good lips for kissing. That's it. Those are. If you were on a date with this person, you'd be like, yes, kisses. 
That would definitely be on your your mind. Oh, maybe I can make the cheeks more hollow. Or the no oh, you know what I should do? I should remove the nose. That way it makes the rest of the face stand out. I think that's what's in our way is the nose. I think the nose is blocking Jeff's beauty. So we're going to retract it. You don't need a nose when you have a jaw like that. That's getting better, isn't it? No, 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 no. If I go- Ah, yes, this way. Okay. Now we just melt it into itself. Oh no, that's coming back out. I don't want that. I want the opposite of that. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, I definitely kiss the CSP of 096. I mean, look at that. That's... Now the noise looks like a, a flat texture on the character model. <laughs> no, go on, this is not the Dark Souls stream I was expecting, but I'm here for it. <laughs> I was not expecting this Dark Souls. Oh good, you can revert it into its face. Good, good, good. So I think the problem is it's kind of looking a bit like Squidward. So we're going to have to give it... I want... What do you call this part of your nose? The, the part that's mushed into it. How can I make that... Oh good, good, the jaw's coming out. Brilliant, okay. Can I... Oh, I can lift you up. That might be better. There we go. Okay. That's a little bit better. No, no. Is that... Yeah. I think this is the, the nose ridge, is the thing I'm looking at there. Oh, no, no. That's the ridge. That needs to invert in, because we need to have a bit of an innie. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Um, well, pitter patter, let's get at her. I'm not religious, but please, God, God, please stop this madness. Um, <laughs> do you have a made of clay? And man, someone really dropped the clay down a flight of stairs. Who? I believe it was Drawba who pointed out there were sliders. So can we all direct our attention to Drawba for this? Because it's Drawba's re Drawba is the, the the reason this exists now. You can all thank Drawba. I know I. Oh my God! I forgot about eyebrows. Eyebrows are the exclamation mark of the face. And Jeff is exclaiming excitement and mild surprise. Jeff is just... Can I bring those in? No. Bring them out. Yeah, bring them out like that. Ooh, yeah! Now we look like we're on high alert. We're ready to tackle... What do you kill in Dark Souls? Demons! Maybe skeletons? Skeletons and dogs with knives! And maybe a giant crab. Yes, excellent. Can I add makeup to your cheek? <laughs> just some blush. I never normally do makeup, but... Ooh! Actually, just out of curiosity, because I kind of- I do like the face, but I just... Can I... Oh, my whole face is becoming a black hole. <laughs> We're kind of all just sinking into ourselves, aren't we? No, let's not make that too full. We don't want to lose your inner spirit. Because if we can make that a little bit more... No, 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 wrong way. Yeah, just really highlight how stabbable our chin is. Okay. I feel like some plastic surgery went wrong here. Giant crab, that weirdly checks out. I just wanted you to do this the, the, the easy way. I just wanted you to do this the easy way. Doesn't look like uh, it doesn't need an exclamation mark. Drummer is the hero we need. <laughs> um. Yeah, make them a little bit more flapped out. Flapped out cheeks is an expression, right? I don't think there's too much more we can do here. Wait, we can change the hair color even more? Oh. Oh, we can! Never mind! Uh... Perfect. Good, 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 good. I was hoping we could get that purple. The only thing I can think is maybe the forehead? I don't know. There we go, that's better. If I... Oh good, the eyes are a bit more in. That way we're protected. So, something shoots across our face, we're protected there. 
the forehead is oh the forehead is blocked by the overlay. Uh, now after this, just press the default option. <laughs> bacon form will be interesting. What is bacon form? Um, nose bridge. Can I destroy the nose more? Because I'm really annoyed with the nose. The nose annoys me so much. Oh, good. We could get rid of more of that. That makes my monocle plan much better. Our eyes are opening up though, which I dislike. What about this? Well, that's kind of narrowed them a, a bit. Cool. Where's our face? <laughs> I feel like I'm missing a good chunk of face. Do you know what? This is fine. This is lovely. This is... This is... This is good. <clears throat> okay. Oh my gosh, we look great. I know my, my overlay is probably blocking that a little bit, but let me bring up how we look in the thing. Hopefully that will flick over for us. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see like the tiny little eyes. Um, there is a black hole in the center of Jeff's face. How are you enjoying this? What do you mean? What's not to enjoy, Sleepy? We've made something beautiful today. We've made a lovely creature named Jeff and she's gorgeous. It looks like her face is getting sucked into a black hole when you look straight on. I know! I know, Lunch Snake. It's because she's that beautiful. She's collapsing in on herself. Um. There is a black hole in the center of Jeff's face. I'm glad the face is co um, covered by the overlay. Don't worry, we'll get into the game. No, I don't want to customize. I want to accept. I can't do better than this. I can't make this better. I've made... Yeah, start the game with this character. I've made a goddess, so I can't I can't one up that. In the age of ancients. That was like half an hour of the character world creation. Was unformed, shrouded by fog. <laughs> There's a game I forgot. A land of grey crags, arch trees, a very dubious face. and everlasting dragons. Is it a statue? Because that's not very everlasting, is it? But then there was fire. Good, I'm a pyromancer. And with fire came disparity. Heat and cold. <clears throat> life and death. And of course, light and dark. Did light and dark not exist before fire? Because I feel like fire then from the dark, they came. Zombies? And found the souls of lords within the flame. Oh, that's neat. Nito, the first of the They're dead. called Nito as well. They are neat. What a good name. It's Nito, everybody. Nito is neat. The Witch of Isolith and her Daughters of Chaos. Oh, that's cool. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his An faithful old man. <laughs> You've got Skeleton Guy, Awesome Witch and Lady and Old Man. Pygmy, uh, so what? easily forgotten. Why do we have Gollum? <laughs> Alright, this is a weird collection of characters. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart Why are you challenging the dragons? Skins. The dragons were here first, the right? Witches weaved great firestorms. Question, is there so much fire because I chose pyromancer, or is there just a lot of fire? Of death and disease. I like me too. And Seath the scales betrayed his own. And the dragons were no more. That's not a fun birth defect for a dragon, is it? Like, is that the equivalent of a furless cat? A scaleless dragon? That's not a fun birth Thus defect. Thus began the age of fire. Fire is just a lot of fire, so fire is just a thing in the series. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Well, that's why you put more wood in the fire. 
That's why we burn the Amazon to keep the dragons at bay. You thought it was corporate Even greed. Now, it's not. It's to keep the dragons only away. Embers. A man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. So the Sphinx cats are quite fun to pet. I've never petted one. I 100% would. I'm fine with them existing. I'm just saying that it can't be fun to be them. Do you know what I mean? Like, they can look neat all they like. They can't look like neato because, you know, you need to kind of have... What do you call... What do... What's the thing called when... <sighs> They're not Transformers. But, like, you're a Power Ranger and you get in, like, your your thing yes, and you become the left indeed. foot. What do you call those robots? The dark sign brands the undead. I like this fellow. Look at him, just chilling. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. <clears throat> okay. Where they are locked away. What is the point of putting the undead in cells? The end of the world. Like, why not just put them all in one giant pit? Like, this seems like a lot of effort. Like, why chain them up? This is your fate. Zords. Ah, thank you. They make a mega zord. Zords. There you go. Excellent. Talos guesses the plot again. Why watch when can guess plot? Hey! Look at our face, everyone! The teeth stick out. I didn't realize that. How brilliant. Our teeth are like... Blah, blah, blah. Imagine that's the noise we make when we talk. We can't form human words. We're too pretty to use words. Look at our face! <laughs> I look like one of them. I'm so pleased with myself. <laughs> Why is there a train in this dungeon? Why not? Um, the drone eat the ass light. Are they feeding Jeff? Jeff made something that making an Osterode looks like a Giovanni. <laughs> Look at this! Look how good I did! I'm bra I'm brilliant! I'm great! For a game uh, like there is surprisingly little cannibalism. Yeah, there is surprise. Like, is there. There's like just no cannibalism? Why did he let you out? <laughs> Here. Rating 180. Okay. That's. Rating 180. What does that mean? Ooh, baby Yoda, baby Yoda, floating in the pod, baby Yoda, baby Yoda, baby Yoda, levitating a horn monster, baby Yoda. Hello, Electro. How are you going? Just for that, you get to stare at Jess' face. This, the worst thing about that electro was as the music started, I I hadn't realized what it was. I thought it was the other song that we have, which is like this cool Dark Souls bop. But then Baby Yoda started, and all of my joy disappeared. How are you going? Um, do you like this one, Faceless? Jeff, thank you. Jeff is pretty. Jeff is gorgeous. Amazing Kia head. I can't tell the difference between the undead talking to me and Jeff talking to me. Okay, so we've got a key. So this is us. Um, those no scratch marks and messages by other players. Is that what the 187 means? Like the rating? Alright, so right trigger is stab. Uh, what is this? What are, what are we doing? I... Why am I sort of shaking my chest at people? What is this ability? And that's... That's dodge. A is interact. That's... Attack. What does right trigger do? That's other attack. That's... Stab. How... How make fire? I have dagger, but want fire. How... Hmm... It's cry for help. It's uh, I, I'm ugly button. I'm ugly. No, a shimmy. Yes, shimmy was the word I was thinking. Of. You're shimmying. Oh, the rating is like upvotes. 
shrugging because you don't have an item to use. Oh, that's shrugging. That that is bizarre shrugging. Um, how? So I have eight fireballs, basically. How does one cast a fireball? I would like Death to do that. Is whimsical <clears throat> today. Oh, good. An interesting fact. Interesting fact is an interesting one today. Um, she, she says if there wouldn't be an interesting one. Camera controls. Why are the notes things like camera controls? Like, I know those exist, but that's a bit useless, isn't it? That's a bit of a useless note. Like, you might as well tell me game. Attack. Right bumper is attack. Well, right bumper isn't attacking right now. There it is. And right trigger is attack, too. I feel bad, bad for killing this undead. It's not doing anything. Can I lock onto you? Yes, I can. Okay, good. And that's me eating a soul, is it? I guess, like, that's the thing, Lunch Snake. Don't I consume the soul? So isn't it all cannibalism? If only, you only have eight, is it wise to waste a fireball? It's good to learn. You need the pro casting item. I see. But I need to learn how to do it. Interesting fact is interesting. Not a waste, an investment. Indeed. All will be learned in due time. So, before I go too far out, let me just murder this guy. It's like, tell us, just read notes. Tell us, no, want now. Hold and to dash. Am I dashing? I'm rolling. I wouldn't call this dashing. Am I doing dashing wrong? I mean, I'm happy to roll for the game, but like... Hold B. Hold B. Oh, I was clicking B. Okay, yeah, ignore me. I was doing it wrong. I was doing it very long. Oh, look at... Okay. Good to know. Good to know. All right, interesting fact. Hold B. Thank you, Robert. Yes. <laughs> Is this basically tell us stop asking and play game will tell? I believe so. Yes, definitely. <clears throat> but tell us what now. So, before I go too far, let me tell you guys the interesting fact. Because I will forget, and it's a little bit of a long one. Um, but basically, so interesting fact, so... I thought I had a button for this. I thought I had sidebar set up. I do. I think that's changed to it. I do! Oh, good for me! So, <clears throat> basically, the year is 1942, and Mary Beth Rowe is born. So, Mary Beth is just a typical... American woman, um, you know, she's just raised averagely. Nothing really stands out. Her father was a in the military, and then he just worked like as a um, a technician on several things and that. And they they didn't really move around too much. She had a pretty normal life. She did report that her father um, would hit her with a fly swatter, uh, but her reason for that was that um, he had arthritis, so his hands weren't very good for much of anything. And occasionally, she he, her dad would lock her in her room, but she said he she probably deserved it. So overall, not a huge, um, you know, nothing really dark happened to her in her childhood. Now, in 1963, when Mary Beth is 21 years old, she meets who would become the love of her life, Joseph Tinning. And so her and Joseph get together and they end up marrying two years later in 1965. So now it's Mary Beth Tinning is her name. And they have a fine marriage. Um, they eventually have children in 1967. So two years after marrying, they have their first child or daughter. And then in 1970, a year after that, they have a second child. So their family is growing. Um, and then finally, what ends up happening is they have a third child. So this third child occurs in 1971. Um, <clears throat> is it the strong? She'll be right. Exactly. She'll be right, sleepy. Um, a fine marriage. The true horror was that children were made along the way. Oh, just wait, lunch snake. Just wait. Um, so basically she has a third child in 1971. Now, unfortunately for Mary Beth, also in 1971, in October of that year, her father died of a heart attack. Now, she was very upset by this. She really liked her dad. And then in December of that year, she had her third child. And her third child, unfortunately, was born with bad genetics. So she was born with um, basically a bunch of abscesses in her brain. So the child never left the hospital, only survived a week and died. So Mary Beth goes home. She's very upset. Two weeks after she loses her third child, she rushes back to the hospital with her second child um who's about you know he's about a year and a half she she takes him in and she says he's been seizuring and choking on his vomit so the hospital staff look him over obviously mary beth is very worried she's just recently lost one of her children the hospital staff are like he's fine you can take him home so she takes she takes the kid home only to come back to the hospital 
a couple of hours later and she goes he's not responding and her child has died so when they sort of in investigate him they think that it's just cardiac arrest again they're like i guess it was just something with the genetics so sorry so you know she goes back home she still has her first born child um and her husband obviously who she loves now when she's back home with her, her child, what ends up happening in January of the next year, in 1972, she goes to the hospital with her child because this child is now having seizures and the child does die. And they say that it's probably Ray syndrome, which is a brain disease where your brain just suddenly rapidly deteriorates. So now she has no children. Um, was it asbestos? I feel like it was asbestos. Hmm, this sounds familiar. <laughs> it's a triple kill now, faceless. But, so she's now lost all her kids, but she still has her husband, which is why in 1973, she gives birth to a fourth kid. Because again, you, you don't, like, you can keep generating kids if you have the two core ingredients, which is womb and penis, I guess. <laughs> if Recipe for Children would be a very weird book. Um, so basically she gives, she gives birth to her fourth kid in December of 1973. Um, and with this baby, she takes it home. It's in November, she gives birth. But by December, she's back at the hospital and she's like, I found my baby in the crib, not responding. And they were like, oh, that's SIDS. So sudden, um, sudden death syndrome. Sorry, not much we can do. So they take, you know, the fourth baby. There's nothing they can do. By the way, can I just say, isn't that a weird thing that humans have? Like occasionally we're just like, yeah, your baby just died. It just gave up. Sorry. You just have to be worried about that for a certain period of time. Sometimes they do that. It's like, can we find out why they're doing that? But she's now lost four kids. In 1974, after having lost four kids, she attempts to murder her husband. Um, <clears throat> so the man she loves, uh, basically, um, barbiturates these uh, depression pills. She gets them from a friend and she spikes his drink with it. And he ends up going to hospital almost dying. Um, and it's, it's clear that she's done it, but he chooses not to press charges. Um, so he, 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 Joseph, her husband, is like, I'm not going to press charges against Mary Beth because... Marriage is hard, and sometimes you just want to murder your spouse. So he gets it. He understands. She's lost her husband, her father, and four children. Uh, it's it's hard. Sometimes you just want to murder your husband. So she he lets this pass. Um, in 1975, they have a fifth kid together. So the fifth kid is born in March, and that's great. They can be a happy family. They can move past all the deaths. Uh, that is until autumn comes around so in september mary beth is driving with the kid she leaves the kid in the car temporarily and then she comes back and the kid is dead so he's died so that's five kids down but that doesn't stop mary beth and um <clears throat> joseph from wanting to have a family so in 1978 they adopt a newborn kid so they get a newborn and two months after they've adopted the newborn mary beth also gives birth to a seventh child so sixth child she's spawned into the universe seventh child she has Dear God, woman, stop having kids. It's obviously not in your fate. <laughs> your baby didn't like you, so decided to respawn. <laughs> it's usually suffocation. It is usually suffocation with the SIDS thing, lunch day. It's just very interesting that we still call it, like, the, the SIDS thing. But, um, so she has... They have two kids now. It's 1978. They're both a couple of months apart. <clears throat> Now, in 1979, a year later, the kid, the, the seventh kid, the one she gave birth to, is rushed to the hospital because he's having, like, the kid is having seizures. They manage to stabilize the kid, but a month later, she has to bring the kid back. The kid um, has a, several seizures. They resuscitate them again because they, they, um, their heart stops beating, but this time they have such uh, extensive brain damage that after two days of being on life support, they make the difficult choice of turning the life support off. So that is this child down. So that's six, six children dead. But in the same year, if, uh, 1979, as she loses the seventh kid, she gives birth to an eighth child. So she gives birth to another child. Um, but by 1980, the next year, this eighth child is also rushed to the hospital um, where the child spends four weeks on life support before uh, it meets its final end. So now she is down seven kids, but she still has the adopted one. There is a sign. I think they've missed it after the third. But don't worry, they still have the adopted kid until the year of... Um, <clears throat> 1981 so a year after the the other kid died in the hospital in 1981 the adopted kid falls down some stairs and dies so now those kids are dead so that's that's eight down um <clears throat> so she has a ninth child though so she has a ninth child in 1985 they have another child in august but by december um she smothered it so uh this isn't this isn't a case of oopsies um, no, she just straight up smothered the kid. So she smothered the kid in 1985 and um, social services get called out to her finally. So after 
this is the ninth kid that has died by her hands. They finally send out social services, and after an interview, and again, the hospital staff were like, yes, your, your kid has been smothered. Um, they do send the police, and she gets arrested. Now, she has, she obviously gets interviewed by the police, and she ends up claiming that the confession they get out of her is in fact made under duress, so it shouldn't count. Now, the interesting thing you should note about the suspicion thing, when this comes out, Dr. Robert Sullivan, who is the chief medical examiner at the hospital, um, he does admit that he should have cottoned on sooner and he should have been a bit more suspicious. You see, since the children started dying back in 1971, uh, 1971 um, to 1985 they'd been going to the same hospital so every time one of these children dies or is born it is the same hospital with the same staff on large so the chief medical examiner goes do you know what yeah nine seems like a lot doesn't it i should have looked into this sooner but she ends up going to court and this becomes a big to do because it can't be decided whether or not... Like, they can only charge her with one death, the kid that she admitted to smothering. Her husband does say he still doesn't think she did it. But they end up spending six weeks at trial, and then 23 hours over three days, the jury deliberate on whether or not to charge this woman. Again, it's not in question that the ninth child was smothered. Um, but what they end up coming back with is they say she is not guilty of deliberate murder. She's not guilty of deliberate harm to the child. What she is guilty of is depraved indifference to human life. So that is what she gets charged with, is depraved indifference to human life. Because basically what happened was her story is effectively, the baby was crying, it wouldn't stop, so I blanket faced it. Um, <laughs> you know, that thing you shouldn't do, shove something into the crying thing's face. So she ends up getting 20 years, which is five less than the maximum sentence she could have gotten because everyone apparently feels very con conflicted for Mary Beth. Um, yes, I had no idea, Faceless, that depraved indifference to human life was a crime, but apparently it is. Um, <clears throat> so she ends up going into jail in 1988 is when her sentence officially starts. Um, and during that time that she's in there, she has six attempts at trying to get a parole. She pops kids out and kills them all, but doesn't get murdered for murder. Yes, she doesn't get murder. She doesn't get charged for murder, Electro. She does not get charged for murder. So she's in, um, and hello, someone. How are you going? Um, <laughs> so basically she's in, she's in jail and she tries six times to get paroled. Now, every time she, tr she tries to get paroled, her attitude changes slightly. So the first time she tries to get paroled, she's like, Every day I have to live with the fact that my child is dead. It will haunt me forever. Those are her words. Uh, and then it ends with her on her sixth time, basically going before the parole board going, look, I don't know why I killed the kid. I know I did it, but like, I don't even really remember it. Like, I get it, the kid is dead. And I'm, I, I'm, I feel bad about that, but I, I can't even tell you why. I, there is no reason. That is, she literally ends up saying there is no reason the kid's dead. She's just kind of indifferent by the sixth time. The reason she gets, keeps getting turned down for parole is that the, the parole board is basically like, um, so her regret is superficial at best. She has no remorse. So she does get out in 2018. So she is out now. She is 81 years old. She is in America still. She gets released in 2018, but she will forever, for the rest of her life, she has a curfew because apparently you can only murder babies after dark. Um, also, she needs a baby to do that with, but she's got a curfew and she also has to forever attend domestic violence counseling. So somewhere there is a counselor that has to talk to her regularly about how not to do domestic violence. There is an 81 year old lady. But that is the interesting fact. Um, Corvus, had you heard of Mary Beth Tinning before and her very, very weird history? Um, but yes, how is the Dark Souls run, run coming? Are we learning the front software rhythm of things yet? Also, the entire thing just showed you could be highly educated and still be dumb. How the Doc didn't catch on for nine different dead kids is pretty insane. You are very, very correct, someone. It's absolutely insane that they just didn't... Because again, they kept being like... it's gen And the thing is, like, some of them were like within the same year or one after the other. So you would be like, guys, could we maybe look into this woman? It took nine kids dying before social services was called in the family. Um... <clears throat> An hour into the stream, we're still in the asylum cell. I, well, I thought I was having fun. I've been having fun on the stream. Um, even if we're just here. Oh, by the way, someone, this is our face. 
We're beautiful. Can I look at my character more? Is there... Is there a way to look at my face? I want to look at how beautiful my character is. Oh, I can, but my, my face kind of covers it up. That's okay. We'll hope for another cutscene. Um, you can remove your clothes, I think. Oh. Can I now? I still don't... Oh, no. Oh, there's a body stuck on me. Okay. Oh, I can... Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. We can... <gasps> we can move the bodies around. Oh, this is interesting. I've got new shoes, everybody. They're very fleshy. Mmm, stay warm, even in winter. Just stick your... Your foot in the corpse. Um... I can't seem to remove it. Alright, we'll learn how to get Jeff naked later. I feel like shenanigans undercuts it somehow. <laughs> Why aren't you curses with Talus stripping Jeff? I I want can I strip Drawba, you would know. Can I strip my character? Drawba's like, I'm not saying. <laughs> target lock on, yes. We've got the target lock on. From software that has ragdoll physics for dead bodies. You'll end up having a ton of fun with it. Excellent! I love ragdoll physics. These aren't really fighting back. I guess I am just in the starting area. Nom 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 goes the soul. Yeah, but let's get out of this. So if I get out of the tutorial, you'll tell me how to strip Jeff? Is that the deal? Wait, I don't understand how, like... I can I just point out as well when Mary Beth got out of um, prison her husband was still there like they're still happily married that's still a thing obviously now they can't do babies anymore um which is like a good thing those innocent hollows so this basically attune magic so is this how I hang on is this how I make my magic refill is here. I want to fireball things. <clears throat> Why give fire if no burn? Good for her husband. A man who only went along with kids for the wife. He, he was just very indifferent to kids himself. Attuned to equip magic. To equip ma Is it not equip- Oh, do you mean like if I learned a new spell I could replace where my fireball is now? Is that how that works? Oh, a blood pile. Okay. Roll, roll, dodge, die. So don't dodge or I die is what I learned from that lesson. Ah! Oh no! Oh no! I forget what I was doing. Oh no! I wanted to fight it! I just wanted to observe it from a different direction! No! I wanted to fight it! Aww. Bloodstone shows how other players died in that area. I see. Ah! Ah! So I can know not to do them. I was like, it must be teaching something. Um, oh my gosh. Yes. Well, and now you can't. Onward. Aww! Was I- wait, Ozzy, was I not meant to do that? Damn it. All right, on which we go. <laughs> I just wanted to stare at it from a different angle. Damn my curiosity. Light a bonfire. No, you can't. <laughs> She's gonna mid-go mid -go her way through this, isn't she? <laughs> I'm going to Mr. Magoo my way through it. Good job, you found the door and didn't mistake fight the boss. You figured it out fast. <laughs> You were. You did the skip. You can fight it, but this is what you kind of meant to do. Oh my god. <laughs> if I play Dark Souls and I somehow end up accidentally doing this repeatedly just because I'm like, I want to look at it because it's pretty, but from safety. Oh, to be a coward. And then you died. Well, you were bad at doing things then. She says boldly, just because she hasn't yet. She's yet. No! Arrows hurty! Does that just stay there now? 
How do I get out of the water? Can I block? Get your shield. I don't have a shield. Uh. <clears throat> I don't have a shield. Hmm. Who is looking forward to tell us cheesing this game? Bob, there's an arrow in me. <laughs> me tit. So, I don't have a shield. shield I don't have. Did I pick up a shield? Would a shield kill you faster? I can't even tell if you're dying now. Now my weapon's just slamming on things. Where's your health? <laughs> His health bar is gone and I'm too scared to get off because he'll start shooting arrows again and I'll have to dodge into his face again. <laughs> Riveting gameplay. Thank you, Lunch Snake. He rolled right past her axe. There's an axe? Hang on. <laughs> it's not his work. <laughs> just a waiting a game for goodness. For ch it's just a waiting game for goodness for chat. <laughs> um. <clears throat> okay, well, my arrow is gone. There were things down here, but the man was being horrible to me, so I had to murder him first. Change equipment. Why well, could With left shield equipped guard. I can't do that. I don't... Hang on. D can I... I should have an arrow. There was one inside of me. I can do... Alright. Where is this axe that I'm looking for? Can I pick any of you up? Oh, here we are. Why can I only... Oh, never mind. No, that can't be right. That's not right at all, is it? That's my offhand. There we go. Is that blocking? That's not doing anything. Okay, well, I have a shield. Blue little flames are items to pick up. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, so that's... Thank you. Okay, I was like wondering what the indicator was for pick up sign. Excellent. We're going to get some cool clips. <laughs> um, the issue is that you have to equip it to use it. Oh, I did pick up the shield. Okay, I did pick it up. I wasn't sure because I don't... Like, I was like, did I... My head is on fire. I click here and it goes into system changes. What? Oh no, I don't want that. Okay. Uh, that's not... Oh, okay, that was weird. Okay, so I had to press B on it. Okay, that's fine. You know what? Don't question it. It's fine. It's fine! It's part of learning. Where is my axe? Good. Now I have that. Okay. Go away. Oh, I see, because I had the menu up. That's what was happening there. Excellent. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, now I've looked at... Uh, D-pad can switch weapons, I think, if equipped. Oh, really? Oh, it... Oh, as if I put it into the third slot, then I would be able to do it there. Um, little by little. Uh, I must ask you a question first. You get promised when you pick it, um, I have no more broken weapons for you. Okay. Right, 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 right. Okay, so we have this. That's cool. We've got an axe. Can I go through here then? I brought my friend with me. That's good. 
Oh, my fr Oh no, here's my friend. I'm going to name you Jeremy. Can you come with me, Jeremy? I feel alone in Dark Souls. Oh, we can't go that way, Jeremy. Come on. Let's go together. Jeremy's doing a Beyblade impersonation, apparently. Okay. Rolling. Good tip. I want to go in there. There was a knight. Hmm, that's a scary staircase. I think I want to heal. I assume I get potions or something. Jeremiah. Um. <clears throat> One would assume I get potions. So, that's a broken staircase. There's a working staircase on the other side. So, well, I guess I should say more of an intact staircase, shouldn't I? Because technically this, wor this staircase is working. <gasps> you have treasure. I want treasure. We must go upstairs to get the treasure. To the upstairs. You get juice. King Jeremiah. We get juice? Okay, so juice to heal. And that's my block. So if someone shoots arrows, I can just hook. No! Jesus Christ! Okay, that's... Bad! Jesus Christ, I didn't expect a trap. Wait, you died by falling off the air. So there is four damage. It tastes like lemons. You may or may not notice that as you run, attack, block, or dodge, they use the same stamina buff. When you don't have stamina, you don't get to do anything. Yes, I'd been seeing that. And I was like, I suspect that I don't want that to go down. Typically, I almost always ignore stamina foolishly. And then I'm like, why can't I do everything, anything? It's because I'm just not looking at the goddamn stamina bar. If I go through this door, are you going to lock me in there? I'm going to go back up first in case. But thank you. Thank you for the tip. To make sure I do actually look at my stamina. Can I open you? It's locked. Well, I have a mark. What was the point of taking the master key? <gasps> oh, look at that. We got to zoom right into Jeff's face. Look at it. There you go, someone. You get a chance to see Jeff. Everyone else was forced to watch the character creation, which was beautiful. And I find it hard because even Electra wasn't able to see it properly. But I think Electra, you came in just as we were finishing the cutscene. So you got to see some of it. Um... This, the door is opening back to the first bonfire. Oh, okay. Well, I do want to heal up, don't I? Because now I'm equipped. So, if I do this, right, that resets the enemies, yeah. Now, what I want more than anything is to learn how to throw fireballs. That's what I want. So, hang on. Wouldn't I just be doing loops then? Do I have to go backwards? Because that's open. So, if I come through here, yeah. This is locked by some contraption. Oh. Well. Um. Go back to the night you saw. Back to the night. Okay. Maybe go see the night. Are you through this hole? Ah, you are. I can go through this. Well, hello, buddy. I will. I will just say. Just um. Oh god, guys. Oh, because you ran through there and you opened the cannonball. Dude, do you guys just let me, like, give me five seconds to try, like, do you know what I mean? Like, to try and figure out where I'm going. So if I, like, I do know I get stuck, so I do appreciate the help. But do, like, let me just kind of attempt, attempt to puzzle my way through it. Otherwise, we do kind of risk just people oh, guiding me. You. You're no hollow. Huh? I'm not. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I mean, Dyson, Chef does look pretty hollow. Lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. Um. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out. Urge to press attack button. Growing so hard. Um. Yeah. So no, no problem at all. I 100% get. And the thing is, the problem is that the way I work things out is I ask the question out loud so I can think. So it can be very hard. I understand from chat's perspective to tell whether or not I'm saying "tell me the answer," chat, or whether or not it's I'm just thinking it. Um, is Jeff really an undead yet? I I love Jeff's face there. Um, you missed the AK-47. <laughs> Damn it, that sounds OP. I think I killed him when I played after listening to him. Ah. Regrettably, I'll listen. I have can I have his armor? Mission, but perhaps you can keep the torch lit. Which torch? There is an old this is Olympic running. If you go up, left, left, no, left, no, left, no, and down no, you no, end no, up no, back where you started. An exodus from the undead asylum. Maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening. <laughs> Very nice, Electro. If I go up, left, 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 and down, you end up back where you start. Very good. And I can die with hope in my heart. 
Oh. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. <laughs> this is a terrifying savior to have. An Estus flask. My teeth are showing. An undead favorite. Jeff is so happy. Oh, and this. Oh, nice. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm fixing that for us. Bye. Can I have your... You're gone. Hmm. Why? Well, I got his soul. That's good, yes. Use item. Juice! Juice, juice, juice. The orange juice. So we've got the juice. I don't like that he asked me why. That's concerning. Um, why ask why, sir? But he's gone. Again, he said he didn't want to hurt me after death, right? So me killing him is the best thing. Those are your health potions. You have a limited number that refresh every time you visit a bonfire. Excellent. I the juice. It's the juice. So now when I'm hurty, I can juice up. I can... Does my key not unlock this door? No, of course it doesn't. So that would mean that there is another door that we can unlock some, which is probably back up here and away from where I went because there was that door that was locked and I, I should have gone there, but I didn't. I went to that, even though it said contraption and not lock tallow. So one would assume if you use logic that the key is not going to unlock it because that's not, that's not how that works. Oh, hang on. Why am I scared of you? Come here. Actually, I want to block. Can I? I want to learn to block. Um, that's probably done. No! Oh god! Juice! Juice! Juice yourself! Uh, how did he die? Sorry, how did he die just then? Like, I understand what I was doing. Hang on, I want to learn to block. I'm going to go back to the campfire. I feel like learning to block is very important. Um. Four damage? But like, he got up! I got up. Like, do you reckon that was a, that much fall damage? Big new friend footsteps. I know, right? Like the, the friend we ran away from. Okay, so when I block, that's hit. That's hold. So this is this is hold. Okay. And the weapons, I think someone you mentioned earlier that there's there was a message about weapons taking damage. Okay, is that blocking? I don't know. Good enough. Close enough. You killed him and then panicked. <laughs> that seems about right. Um, I will warn you that killing NPCs in this game can be very bad because it looks uh, it locks you out of certain things. I actually lost two or three playthroughs by accidentally killing NPCs and ruining it for myself. This game is very unforgiving with killing NPCs. Have I locked myself out of things for killing him? Have I have I ruined the game already by barely starting? Is that what I've done? Kick, jump, kick. That's not a jump kick. That looks cool, though. Oh, I'm ruining all my stamina. Come here. No, you can't do the cool move I learned about. That's cheating. I'm the cool one. No. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank God. No, not that guy. That's why I'm warning you for other guys. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thank you for... Uh, anything like that, guys, that, like, it's legitimately, like, nah, you would actually ruin your game if you did that. Feel free to tell me. Pyromancy flame! Pyromancy flame! Then let me pyromancy flame things. Don't give me things if you won't let me love the world by burning it. You show me flame, but yet no... <laughs> the sheer anger I have at being a pyromancer and not being able to do fire. It won't let me equip it though, Ozzy. That's the problem. Like, it's always blank. Um. It was an interesting game for Talos. No one isn't killing for you. Uh, um, in the second slot next to you. Oh, oh, that's what you mean. Okay, okay, excellent. All right, 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 right. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, okay, get out of that. Okay. a really short distance but I can do it now so that's all that matters hooray come here I need to burn you no nope. ow there we go while falling plunging attack with pyromancy flame equipped 
right bumper, use pyromancy plus up to change to pyro. What? With pyromancy flame equipped, right bumper, use pyromancy up, change pyromancy. Oh, if I had other books, it would change the pyromancy? I'm <laughs> oh, did I say thank you, Aussie? Not lunch snake. Sorry, lunch snake. Sorry. Uh, I am the Aussie now. Change pyromancy to that spell you're using. So that's why it won't change it, because I've gotten all the spells, yeah? Um, okay, so that's how that works. So basically, it's a case of, like, the reason I couldn't use pyromancy before was it's a weapon. It's not just an innate... Okay. I get it. Okay, I think I, I get where they're coming from now. Oh, I didn't want that. I didn't want that. I didn't mean this. I didn't mean it at all. Can I go back through the white curtain? I, I wasn't ready for this. Um... Oh my god, you can come up here? I lasted no time. You died. Well, well, well. Ada, you died there. That's... That was upsetting. So this is the Dark Souls experience at long last. Alrighty. So I can't go through here because it's it's locked by a contraption. Um, so that's a little bit sad, but there you go. We finally got to death, everyone. You must really like me. And thank you so much, Lunchnake, as well, for the incredibly generous gifted subs. That is five, and you've got you've done it, and now we've hit the sub goal as well. That's absolutely fantastic. Thank you so much for that. That is so generous. Let's go on to Boom, Good Forever, Harvey Specs, Pip, and Level Up. They will definitely thank you. That is so generous, especially because you, you just resubbed yourself as well. That is so generous of you. Is this in celebration of my first death in Dark Souls? Um, that's a clip. Oh damn. I believe you went down down to him and not not him come up. Yes, I think that might be it. I don't think I want to go. Oh, I don't think I want him to good come up. shit. <laughs> Barry is going to get a workout with the death count. Now the thing is, annoyingly enough, I actually thought I had. Um, oh, hang on. It should appear, hopefully above my head, if I've clicked this correctly. There you go. So because I've got new stream software and I've got some new things, so I'm I'm trying to make it a bit more fun but that's one of the things is you now you can have a death counter above my head which should be showing one right now i have a feeling that that's about to go up now i'm going to put a fire on you because i can no i'm not i'm going to throw it that way you know what i should do lock onto my targets that's what i should do i should lock onto my friggin targets um bravo Ozzy. i mean lunch snake <laughs> thank you lunch snake i mean Ozzy. <laughs> All right, so let's go. Might help, yeah. Yeah, I was just like thinking in my head, I was like, yeah, I need to look. The thing is, I just, oh God, I just so often don't play these kinds of games. Hmm. Nope. Oh my God, jerk, stop it. I was trying to remember how to do things. Cause it was, and then you can jump onto it. I'm going to be injured before I even get there. Okay. So now that we're here... Oh, I've got my death recover lost power. I had power? Oh, is that my souls? Is that the souls that I've collected? Is the power thing? This is... <laughs> It's so it's so different because I just I'm not normally a person who plays these kinds of games. Um the closest we have is the Jedi Oh god, what was the name of the Jedi game? We played the Jedi game and I guess Hades, really. Um It looks like there's something to the right. Yes. Yeah, Fallen Order, thank you, Corvus. Fall thank you. Behind an enemy critical hit. So get behind the enemy. Might help if you lock on. So I remember in Fallen Order, one of my biggest issues was I just refused to look onto people. Well, that's sad. Parry. R repel an enemy attack after parrying. Oh! And then... Can I parry with my flame hand? Or do I need, like, an actual weapon in it? 
It's locked. Okay. So I guess we've got to fight the boss then, yeah? You need you need a shield. Okay. Hmm. Souls is, is your experience in currency. <laughs> it's going to be very so it's it's the, the souls of the things I want to collect. I assume I can we died against that was because I was standing on the ledge and I was like oh look at him he wants to get me he can't get me that's what I was thinking and he just jumped up and murdered me hello former how are you going I hope you're going well thank you dark souls you can parry without a shield oh that is good to know um so we can parry without a shield amazing work thank you um <laughs> that went extremely smoother smoother than expected <laughs> the power of fire protects us um The illusion of safety shattered. I know, right? Like, I was just so certain that I was safe in that one spot. Um, I assume that if I go back and touch the fire, he comes back alive, yeah? And so I would just be staring at his stupid face, because I'm out of fireballs, and honestly, that's how I won that. All the rolling in the Court of Lamb did pay off. You're right. Tough enemy ahead. Wasn't this the tough enemy? The pyrosomancy comes in handy. It does. Clever way to drop the normal uh, way plays expected to work. Yeah, just having them, like, actually open like jump up to you You're like wait hang on you can get me um the skill sets transfer <laughs> what i learned from call to the lamb we've taken on use the p okay well i'm free is this out of the starting area can i strip my character now drawba good job go straight ahead do i get a naked jeff as a reward that's not anything so anyone wants um how did you all die give me warnings tell me advise me of warning you you had a seizure and, and then you expired. Okay, I don't have a seizure. Got it. Can I go over here? No. Can I go down here? Will I die if I do this? Tell us, stop doing that. Um. Oh, bosses don't respawn. You get a bird. I get a bird? So, if I want, I can actually go back to the camp, heal, and then proceed forward. Like, save it. So, bosses don't respawn. So, it's just these skelly boys or the... They're more fleshy boys, aren't they? I wouldn't even call them skeletons. Like, they're corpsey boys. I think these bloodstains are showing people that already progressed further in the game. I see. Um. I'm going to heal. Let's do that. Let's get back up. Onwards! More murder afoot! We have a flaming hand and an axe. What more do we need? This is quite magnificent. Look at that. How attractive is this character? Not only can she come on a date with this gorgeous mug, she can bring her own candlelight. It's her hand. Talk about... Well, no, don't make that joke. Anyway, um... <laughs> and she has a cool axe. Um, it's me. I get Corvus. Can I name the bird? If I get name the bird Corvus, it's going to be called Corvus. The bird Corvus. Okay. Can nobody murder me up ahead? I'd like not to die. That would be nice. Good luck. How do I updo it? How do I say I like that you left that message for me? Um, name the bird. The bird. Can oh. Yes, cutscene. I live for cutscenes now in this game. Only in the ancient Barry's legends pet. it is stated. Name the bird Barry's pet. That one day an undead sure. shall be chosen. It is Corvus! To 
leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage <gasps> Gormus to the just land of Jeff the away. ancient lords. Bye, Jeff. That's cool. Lordra. Take on me. Oh my god, yes. Oh, I need an item to upvote. Um, not many people the original DS game anymore. DS3 and El uh, Del sorry, Dark Souls and Elden Ring are the most popular, but so I'd imagine you're right. Okay. That's true. I believe, like, Elden Ring, apparently, you know, it's 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 amazing. Because I was like, if I like Dark Souls, I'm definitely playing Elden Ring. So far, I like Dark Souls. So far, I'm having a good time. As Droba did mention, I am cheesing it, apparently, with my fire. But do you know what? I'll cheese it on my first run. We're going on a magical journey. Lotha, yesterday you got attacked at work by an inmate. Oh, oh, so you did end up successfully getting it all. Um, the job and everything then, former. Um, because I remember the last time I asked, you'd still been waiting on a response. Um, but that's good to hear. Not that you were attacked, but you got the job. I hope no serious injury happened. Was it just sort of an out of the blue attack type thing, or like you kind of were like, yeah, that person, you know, that's that's Bob. Bob attacks. Um, I thought it was gonna take an hour to escape the asylum, but I actually it took like one hour to get started and only twenty minutes to escape this asylum. <laughs> To get, we were, we were getting to know the area. I can level up. Kindle, Kindle. What is Kindle? What does Kindle? Let's level up first. I have one level. I'm looking for like where my points are. I'm assuming level. What can I? Without knowing what these do. Hmm. Um, you didn't like Dark Souls, but you loved Elden Ring. What was the big change there, Lunch Snake? What do you think was the difference between Elden Ring and Dark Souls for you? You found some pills he is not supposed to have, and he jumped at me with intent to claw my face off. Ah! You were taking his contraband. Yes. Okay, so I'm up to level four, so you get one thing per level. Okay. That does sound very intense for me. So Vitality, is that... Hmm. What 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 is faith for? Physical defense, souls. Um. You are level one. You have twenty two thousand four hundred seventy six souls. Increase the stat cost six hundred seventy three souls. That's such a specific number. Six hundred seventy three souls to increase the stat. That is such a like I get it. Just so specific. And if I do that, it's, it's, so it's more souls each time I do a thing. Okay, I get it now. Yep, so each required souls for the next one will be more souls each time. Okay. So basically, I could grind it by killing the same enemy over and over again. Um. Faith is a different type of spell casting, I think. Oh, okay. Having played and beaten um, Dark Souls 1 and Elden Ring, the difference is feeling, response times, and just smoothness and... Cu oh, okay. So it was just a, a feeling more than everything. Isn't it like against rules to talk about it here? Talk about what, former? I'm confused. Um, you can press the explanation button on a stat... Oh, wait, hang on. There's an explanation. Ah. So one of my favorite things I've noticed whenever I'm streaming with you guys, and it's a new game, is where I position my microphone. So before I know what a game looks like, obviously, because I always do first plays with you guys, I just put my microphone in a standard position. Now, that leads to fun scenarios like this. I can see when I'm standing here, I can see select, change, enter, exit, toggle display, and initialize. What I cannot see because of this microphone is the giant explanation button. That's right there. So we're going to move this down just a little bit. So now I can see the button. Um, yes. Oh, hang on. That. So level up. Okay, but oh, that's that's the. This character's name is. Je oh, I see. Vitality. So parameter determining HP. Okay. Uh, never mind. I'm going to get a breakfast. Okay, you have fun there, former. Um, we are the explanation button. We are the ex. That's exactly it. Chat is the explanation button. Chat, explain. <laughs> I could use this very succ succinct and clear explanation button, but no. I'm gonna. I'm gonna force chat to explain every step. Uh, parameter determining number of attunement slots. Okay, but I don't understand what attunement is. Um, 
Paramedic determining stamina, equipment load, and resistance to bleeding. That seems very handy. Um. It's like camp. You can press. It's like gambling, but more fun. Exactly. What answer will I get? Strength and endurance, gang. Where are you at? So you guys reckon strength and endurance? Because endurance, I can with the stamina. Because someone was saying earlier, like men, you know, everything. You know, the moment I run out, I can't do anything, and it all shares the one bar. Required with weapons. Also boosts weapon attack. So that's strength. So that's weapon attack. But if I'm using fire, Corpus, would strength not be diminished a little bit on my end? Uh, Wield advanced weapons. Also boost weapon attack. Don't care about dexterity. I'm not going to be advanced. Resistance. And uh, I will say this now. I'm sure poison won't be an issue. Intelligence. Parameter required to build sorceries. Also boost sorceries and magic weapons. Okay, so I need that. Oh, so faith is like if I was the cleric, basically. Because, like, they were the healing one. So that's... Number of black sprites within one's bosom. Symbolizes human nature and determines item discovery and resistance to purses. Um, and hello, Ismizzle. How are you going? Um, is this the original version? I think it is the remaster. I think. Um, what makes fire more fiery? Exactly. Uh, more achievement lets you equip more spells if I remember right. Okay, so those are the ones that I'm, I'm wanting. Alright. So... Uh, boosting deficit. No, 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 no. So what I kind of want to do is intelligence is one I definitely want to put into. So intelligence, endurance, and like you don't need more HP if you're not getting hit. And in theory, I probably want to put it into strength as well for when I do get other weapons because I will run out of magic. Okay, and now I'm out of souls. So that to me seems good. I'm. Do you know what? The strength, maybe not. I'm going to put one into attunement. I th no, because like that. Is this like. Is this like D&D &D rules where you know if you have. Like you don't get bonuses in a stat unless you meet a certain requirement. So like the difference between 10 and like 11 is pretty much the same. But if you go like 10 and, and 15, like those, you get like a, a bonus type thing. Um, fire doesn't have a stat, you just upgrade the casting items or the weapon it's on. Okay, you're gonna need some vitality. I'm going to need some vitality, yep. Um, we're going to need that. Uh, in boost pyromancy, faith boosts divine- so, intelligent boost pyromancy, faith boosts divine spells that uh, strength increases weapon damage and what weapon you can use. Dexterity will also, but some weapons are more strength based, some are more dex based. It and lets you more into actions and carry things, but vitality increases HP bar. Yes, okay. And endurance will be one I want. You know what, we'll go with this for now. We'll go we'll go with this. This is this is what we'll go with. Infinite. What no I didn't Okay. Oh wait, no, that is correct, except yes. Okay, and now attune magic. This is if I have more attunement slots, but I just I have the one, so it's not really worth looking right now. What is Kindle? Cannot kindle by hollowed. Alright, I don't reverse hollowing. No humanity. Okay. So I'm guessing that's something to do with me becoming more alive. Um, there's less streamers usually on the category than the remaster. Okay. Um, is um is this one pyro isn't affected by any stats in, in does sorcery though? Okay, so it's just I I just boost the sorcery in that. Uh, don't worry about getting your pyromancy stronger until later. I'm just trying to, because, like, I've never played any of the games. So I'm just trying to make sure, like, I do pay attention to the stats. Because the problem, Sleepy, is whenever I go into a game, I go, oh, I'll learn that later. I forget to learn that later. And then we end up being, like, why is she only, like, why is she gone on a sorceress, but she's kicking people? And hello, NPC, I won't murder, because I got told not to well, kill you all. What do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. Well, I feel less special. No salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. Wow, aren't you hopeful, Too Chuck? Too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. Okay. The other is far, far below in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on. Uh, 
but I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> Look at our face. Best NPC, he's the best. Um. His tone makes it hard to not murder him. The urge to murder grows. So, we're Thank just you. done with <laughs> phrasing, right? That's not a thing anymore? Thank you, Ismizzle. I think that Jeff looks just beautiful. This is this is probably one of the most attractive characters I've ever made, honestly. Um, and hello, a Shadow. How are you going? Hopefully you just got a nice picture of Jeff there. She's looking great. Pillage corpse. Hell yeah. Okay, so that's my humanity. So, you, campfire, explain humanity to me. Reverse the Halloween. I did I not pick up humanity then? Okay, no. Do I need to me? Do I need to like eat the human? Like I just picked something up. Humanity used to gain one humanity and great. Oh, okay. So don't just randomly use that. Is what that's saying then. Okay. Yes, I shan't just randomly use that if that's going to greatly restore my health. Yeah, eat it. So we eat it. Okay, that's what's happening there. He got the. It's like a, a wonderful vort black hole in the face. It's brilliant. We have to use it. Yep. Is an understatement. Reduction. <laughs> it's a full heal. You can play online while human. Oh, so when I'm not human, oh, so if I, I wanted to have, like, a friend join me, I would have to turn human. Why can't I play undead? That's a bit unbiased to the undead, isn't it? What if undead Jeff wants to play with random people? Let's go through here. Oh, hey. A firebomb? I know how those things work. I, hmm... We'll save you. We'll save the firebomb. Though if I die, I lose my items, yeah? Is that a... Like, I know I lose souls, but when I die, do I lose, like, my firebomb type thing? Undead aren't allowed to have friends. Aw. Also, being human gives you plot armor and makes chat pog. Oh, really? Like, I actually get, like, stronger if I'm human. And I've got to get enough humanity to turn human, is that right? Yes, sir. That's true. Oh, okay, sure. And then if I'm... There we go. A wave to the crowd. Oh, look, a man. We'll talk to you in a second because I thought another thing here, so I don't know if that's the way forward or another dead end. You don't lose items. You shouldn't lose items when you're... Excellent, excellent. So basically, I can hold on to the items and then when I find a boss that's like someone who's hard and they kill me, then I can use the items. Like, is that probably the better way to do it is to like hold on to the items I have and then wait until I think I need them type thing as opposed to just rushing in and using them. I really want to jump into the water and I feel like that will murder me. I heard something then. You know what? Let's go talk to that man. Human is like a confidence booth. I suddenly feel very confident. I am human and not undead. Is it the rotting? Is that why people don't like undeads? It's just the smell. Like, come on. It's just a smell. And the bar also increases enemy drop rates. Oh, so if I'm human, I get more enemies. But I also get more... Okay, that, that makes sense. So they, they, they basically balance it out. Like, look, you do get some perks, but there's going to be more fighting. I believe we are not acquainted. Uh, I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? That voice not, feels like it does I'd not belong to that body. A distance, if possible. It sounds like an old was in. Don't murder, Talos. As much as you want to murder, don't murder. All right. Well, I'm going upstairs then. He's a nerd. He's just some nerdy monk in this this temple. In here, and I assume that no a hole. Oh, that didn't hurt at all. Never mind. Okay, well that's one way to explore. Uh oh. Oh, this is fine. This is just a tiny drop. Is there something in here then? Hello, tiny room. Would you like to give me secrets? Do you do something cool? You do nothing cool. Alright. Um. Do the boom room. It smells like an old folks home. No one likes the smell of peppermint uh, incontinence. Oh, it's the incontinence that really breaks it, isn't it? It's the incontinence that really ruins it. A chest, everybody! Um, my new Pathfinder character's in, uh, introduction to the party was beating an undead back to death and then continuing to beat the corpse. Amazing. Full on way of the white is for Narcs. You're a Narc if you like that guy. Alright, so we got the bone. 
for whatever reason. Morning star. So, okay, so, 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 so. If I have. Can I? What do I do when I have like multiple items, right? Like if I. Am I more useful? Like I can see that the Morning Star does 83 damage, yeah. And then I'm assuming that thing. Okay, so it's slower. Is that the issue? Okay, that is significantly slower, but probably much more deadly. Okay, let's go here. What do we have in chest number this? Cracked red eye orb. Excellent. That's what I always wanted. I, I've been sitting here this entire game. Invade another world. Okay. I'm just thinking to myself, God, I, I wish I had a, a cracked eye. Restore him to last bone fire to rest. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um... The hammer will look especially slow when you miss. Ah, it's one of those like you feel it when you miss. Um, pick up the shinies. All oh, the shinies. I'm so your your character I'm saying, is technically an insane asylum escapee. Is that why she beat the corpse to death and then kept going? Um, I can invade to attack other players. You know what? I don't think I will right now. I think I will leave the other players be. I feel like if I turned up with my level four self and was just like I'm here to murder you, they'd just destroy me completely. Oh, that's why. We got Lloyd's Talisman. Prevents Estus from recovering within a limited area. What is Estus? That feels slower. Like, the recovery of that feels slower. Yeah, that feels slower, Sleepy. Like, that's the light attack, yeah? I know, it just feels slower. Oh! So would I use that if I'm attacking somebody and trying to murder them and I don't want them to heal? Is that why I would use that? Interesting. Okay. We. Uh oh. <laughs> ah, I thought I. No. How do they get back up? I like my axe more. Hmm. I'm trying to... Ah! Oh god, I died. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I was trying to do something. You can put the axe light to the next morning star. The Rattle Boys. Thing one and thing two. Very murder. Okay, let's try and murder them back this time. They weren't... Hmm. Come back, skeletons. They're rolling so close to the cliff just gave you so much stress. Just me being like, I'm just gonna keep rolling and going backwards, not looking where I'm going. Since we died. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's my stuff. I want my stuff. Oh my god, I really was backed up there, wasn't I? I was so close to that. That's hilarious. Like, look at that. There was nowhere for me to actively go. That's so funny. That is amazing. He's going to the graveyard first. Do I not want to go to the graveyard? I mean, it's here. This time. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm trying to look onto you, you prick. Oh my god, asses. Oh, never mind. 
I took oh one of them joined me though but because I'll be at a bonfire I'll be back so never mind that was quick it was you have three places to go right now go wherever your heart takes you this is part of the game it's magic I don't like the skeletons <laughs> whoops I know right all right so what I think I might do is I might I might try and actually block and see if that works. I know I'm not very good at blocking, but my magic, my magic did do a huge hit to them. Um, I'm glad that it doesn't put that off the side. Do you know what I mean? Like it, it goes, yeah, you fell off the cliff, but you can still retrieve your belongings. Okay, so that's not the greatest plan in the world. I will say that. Oh my god. You guys are you guys are jerks? Alright, so the skeletons do not care at all for my weak ass attacks. Um they're not like Skyrim skeletons. They are very, very tough skeletons. So can I? I found a blood in my game. Amazing! Amazing drawer, you've got my blood stains. You're like, I know where your blood stains are now. So the skelly boys are down there. I can go up here. I'm going to retrieve that. It looks like there's more staircase there. I'm just gonna go up. I'm just gonna go up for a bit. Just gonna go up, just gonna see what it's about. <laughs> see, the thing is, it'll be the bosses that I breeze pie, guys, like the first one. It will just be it will be the minions that keep murdering me. It'll be like she can't deal with a skeleton, but give her one of these giant bosses and she's just cheesing it. Alright. So let's try again. Just have a look around. Right, have you know the mace actually might have been yeah, you are right. I might try with the mace, because the mace does do we have wep do we have damage types here? That's fortifier, that's just it's just stabby. I don't see anything that's like you know what, let's just try the mace though. Let's try the mace and see what happens. What's the worst case? We die? Um fight games like Monster Hunter, I cannot focus on more than one enemy at a time. <laughs> yeah. It's like when you give me more than one enemy, I'm like, uh all right all right boys or well, girls who knows you've skeletons who <gasps> ah oh my god that it they just so quickly murder your face. I want whatever shiny thing is there though. So the good thing, the mace is shattering them onto the ground, which in theory would give me time if my character would attack. Um, having both weapons equipped. So do I have like an, do I have like an infinite Do I have like an infinite sort of um, inventory? It's just that if I'm equipped, then that slows me down. Is that kind of how that works? Uh, it looks really slow and wound up. Yes, because I've been pranking it. This one? Oh no, now the skeletons are on my body. Oh my god, the blocking does nothing. Well, this was a mistake. Please get rid of large soul from the undead. Oh god, there's a giant one. Okay. Well, there's a big one. Alright, well. No, no, 
no, no. That's okay. That's fine. So there's big ones. Jesus Christ. Okay. Now we're into the hard part. To be fair, my shield is splintered wood. That is a good point. My shield is doing nothing. I feel bad for your brain right now absorbing this amazing And information. you fail. My brain is just like, eh? So if I, because yeah, that, that shield is, you've got a, a very good point there. The shield is kind of just garbage, isn't it? Like that's not doing anything. Can I get rid of items? Winged spear. Okay, so, oh, this white under. Equip. Uh, why can't I wield this? Why can't I? Hang on, I don't, I didn't read what it actually said. Um. So if I just unequip and then I go back. You are unable to win this weapon effectively with present stats. Why? What do you need? What do you need to be amazing? Oh my god, screw my present stats. If you run this for the next hour thingy, I can chuck up a prediction for chat. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely run for the next hour, Barry. Um, higher strength. Is your higher strength? Okay. I would need 16 strength, and I have not that. I have 12. I can't happen to level up, can I? No, I cannot. All right. So now that I've unequipped everything from my inventory, <laughs> and my assumption is, oh, okay. So no, I can. That would be a very fool's errand to to do that. Uh, so unequip that. Equip. So I have big sword. Who wants big sword? So that's a sword. So... Oh, that's a sword hilt. Never mind, it's garbage. So, no, I found nothing of active use right now. I have... a hand axe, and I have a morning star. I've got my fire. Um, hard hitting. It demands you level up strength and endurance. It is a broken sword. It's hammer time. I don't. I like. I have. I have this. If like, if there was one, I could do it. But the two of them, like, I, it just takes so long to murder one. I'm like, am I just in a location that I can't proceed in? Going through here. Um. And hello, Dale. How are you going? I hope you're going well. We are dying to skeletons. As you can see, we're up to six deaths. That's nice. Just go up. The world is your oyster. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm very much trapped in an oyster shell with how my character is dying, but that's fine. We'll come back. Maybe. I got more lost souls. I would like to use the lost souls to do things. But I cannot. It just if hmm. And if I go down there, I just fall back to the start. So I can't actually go anywhere here. How many times I will die in the next in the next hour? Thanks, Barry. True confidence right there, Barry. Alright. Um I hope it's zero. I don't want a gesture, I want a murder. Alright. So the skeletons will might And they have the big skeleton, so even if I defeat these guys, I'm just like, how on earth do I Of course. skeleton is so frustrating. Um. 
<laughs> and now we're gonna have hammer time in my head. Um, yes, Sleepy, I would love a hint right now because I, I feel like I'm just gonna keep bashing my head against the wall against these guys. What is the hint, Sleepy? They're very big boned. Because I feel like no matter what I do, my character's just always too slow. And then I get stuck, and then they just murder me. Um, the graveyard is not the intended area for you to be in. Where am I meant to be then? Because, like, I... Am I meant to go all the way back? Because I could not see another way to go. Like, I was like... I felt like everyone is too hard right there. But when I looked around the temple, there wasn't another way forward. I guess my souls are just gone. No, thank you for ruining the fun sleep because I was getting very frustrated then because I was like, I don't understand. Um. Don't be sorry, sleepy. There's Jeff Box at stake. So where, what other area is there for me to go to? Oh, hello. Whoa. Hang on. Okay. Um, oh, it turns out you're okay. Good to hear, Dale. It is good to hear that you're you're going okay. Um, gambling yeah, is a dangerous game. Could anyone tell me where the next location is then? Like, is it town? Is it? Because like a hundred percent, when I was. I have zero souls because they belong to the skeleton now. When I was like in there, I was like, these guys hit so hard, this can't be correct. Because I understand that with Dark Souls, I can pretty much wander anywhere and I will wander into locations I shouldn't be. Um. Go past the well, look up and look right. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um. So go up the stairs and go past the well, look up and to the right. Ah, it's too late, you already moved, so now my directions make no sense. Um, boss messed up a thing and got an easy 30 minutes overtime. Oh, nice! So, you're like, you're like, I'm just raking in the extra money. Go me. I always love when you get this that that's like passively stand there for 30 minutes, earn much more money. Um, which they put you in a bad place. Oh, from the bonfire, go to the well and look right. Oh, okay, hang on. The well being that water level area. So we're going back to... <laughs> Drawbus like, don't worry guys, I've got this. I saw her through Fallout. I know how this goes. So this is... Is this meant to be the well? Because I feel like this isn't a well. Um... From the bonfire, go to the well and look right. That's not the well. That's not the well. I didn't think that was a well. Then I'm actually thinking in my head, where is the well? Because I don't remember seeing a well that I would call a well. So... Do, 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 do. From the bonfire... Oh, well. Are you the well? You look like a well. You're a well. That's what I was thinking with well. But legitimately, my brain had not scanned this thing at all during the time I was playing. I was just going forward. So I was like, the only thing I know where water is is that area. But there you go. Once I acknowledge there's a well, off we go, everyone. Well, well, well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, well. This, the well is round and less water. How many starts did the boss bunker take? <laughs> I don't think we tracked that one, Corvus. That's... You go through your Maddie off the well. What, just by... Did I? Can you jump in? I can't, Dale. I was just trying. Well, there's a... Where there's a well, there's a way... Oh, no. Are you going to murder me? Oh, no. You would die much easier. I feel satisfied again. I'm less angry now. Oh, hello, armor. That's cool. I'm not wearing... Not the time to get naked right now. Okay. 
Good, have we finished attacking me? I've got things to dress up in. Uh, done. Yes, there we go! Wow! Look guys, I made Jeff even prettier! Do you like it? It blows my mind hearing stories of people fighting the skeletons first. I mean, like they're there, right? Um, I don't remember making her so wizened. But, I know that I should probably have put a warning up when I did this, because I imagine everyone in chat is just uncontrollably aroused right now by looking at Jeff, so my apologies if everyone has to very awkwardly sit there, maybe grab a cushion and put it on themselves in case someone walks by, but I'll put clothes back on Jeff, shall I? To save us all from our, our dangerous levels of lust we must all be experiencing right now. <laughs> I think I need a hug. Bacon, Jeff. Oh jeez, my PB. Exactly, exactly. Whatever I do. I know, like, now, the next time any of you try to engage in a romantic action with another person, you won't be able to because they won't look like that beautiful creature you just saw. Like, next time you'll be busy with someone, it'll be heating up, and you'll go, I'm sorry, this can't go any further. I need, I need you to look like this, and you can just pull out a picture of that Jeff. You, Hollow Warrior armor um, seems to be worse. No, it's... Huh. Okay, that's how I go into here. The physical defense is 24, strike 23, slash 24, thrust is 20. So it's going to do more there. Oh, but the... So the tattered cloth robe, though, helps against magic and fire more. And the physical defense doesn't look like it's that much of a difference. So, like, the... Hollow warrior armor is slightly better for physical, much better for- much worse on magic. And then, okay, the tattered robe is clearly the slightly better choice, but it's also lighter weight and durable. Yeah, I'll just- oh, I'll actually put more on. Oh god. That's so much- oh, that's such an awkward position. Okay. Close back on. Okay. Your cloth robe is better. It is better stat-wise, yes. Um, like two times as heavy. So it's also, and, like, when I'm here, right, can I, there must be a, can I destroy this at all, the Hollow Warrior armor? Like, is there a way to get rid of that? Or does that just live with me forever? I can drop it. I'm assuming I have to drop it from in here. That was my issue. Yes, that's where I want to be. Okay, because so I was trying to drop it from the other screen. It just wasn't working. And I was like, why is this not working? I might as well drop this. It's doing nothing. Um, and then I want to go back in here. Because we want to drop the stupid shirt. So, drop. Okay, there we go. What was the item? Commonly funny, though. What's commonly funny? Um, raindrops from early game enemies are rarely useful or good. Ah, okay. So it's just, it's, they're just very funny. Oh, wait. That can actually be made into a special item, so I should not drop that. That was handy. What is it? Who's throwing... What are you doing? Why are you throwing garbage at me? Come, oh, come back here. Do you want to give me treasure? I'll come back for you in a second. I want to go get this Pratt up here because he's being a dick. He's throwing things. Did no one ever teach you not to throw things? Bad. There he goes. Now I feel powerful. This is nice. I enjoy this. I enjoy not constantly dying. Go figure. Can I bash your head in? Hooray! I take this. Goodbye, body. Um. You can get more heals though if I lost mine. Oh, I can get more. Okay. Welcome back, Faceless. We've taken us out of the graveyard and we're proceeding forward. They really get crunched by the hammer. <laughs> they just get destroyed. 
It just goes in and gets up oh, by. Hello, area and staircase. Let's go up, Jet. Didn't actually mean that. Nope. Now I'm just wasting fire. Okay. Hello, little glowy thing. Be useful. I want Soul of Lost Undead. Not the, the most useful, but it's fine. Alright, so... Um... Alright, that looks like a black void. Oh! Hmm. Giant rat. That's cool. I like that. That's like it's having a seizure, but it's really cool. Come out. I want to stare at you more. Come to the sunlight for me. Look at this. Look at his face. We're twins. We match. I found a pet who looks just like Jeff. Come on. I want you to go into the light. Why won't you come out? Poor dead rat. Be my friend. Um. Come on, four to thirteen deaths. Four to thirteen deaths. So we're, well, technically, you've, you've got that because we've got seven. So I just can't die another eight times. So that's what you want. I'm in the sweet spot right now. I guess you could call it a rodent of unusual size. The princess bride was so good. You're open from this side. Um. The only difference is that they make different versions of great tools. Okay, so. Coming up the stairs. Hi, everybody. Alrighty, so. Do -do 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 -do. Undead bird. I need to learn to block. That's my biggest issue right now, is I don't block for garbage. Give me hollow warrior. I already had your hollow warrior armor. I'm assuming I can't bur like bury stuff down and make new equipment with it. Like, that would be a reason for keeping it. Shortcut ahead. Oh, is there? But don't I ideally... Oh my god, come here and die. Well, this was meant for the other one. But it's still here now. Um. I want Jeff to die a lot. No reason behind it, of course. Oh, I see. No reason at all. You just want a lot of Jeff. I know you do. I'm banking on an overestimization. <laughs> Well, now that we've gotten me out of the area where I'm just dying constantly. Oh, Hollow, Hollow Warrior's Wastecloth. So that's a, that's a glowy light. Um, is there any reason why, like, if I smash these, can I potentially get an item from them? Or is it not so much that? So, you said there was a shortcut ahead. Is the shortcut jumping to my death? Anyway, in we go. Let us have multiple choice, but uh, but back during four, I only allowed for two. Yeah, that kind of sucks when we try to do multiple. You only had like the 50 50, didn't you? Um, barrels are enticing. Okay, smashy. I feel like one's going to explode on me, like that will be the one with the secret weapons. Oh, uh, here's a boss fight where we figure out the definitive ending count, I think. Oh no. And I'm low on fireballs. Alright. How did you die? Oh, you missed it, so don't do that. Gotcha. Oh, it's a dragon. Well, 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 well. That's different, isn't it? But I almost have enough souls to level up. What if? What if I went back? Good luck. Thanks. He kind of just turned away on me then, didn't he? Like he had he had the drop on me. Could have done. He was like, you know what? Nah. <gasps> oh, you crat! Hit it, Jeff. You're targeted on. I can see you're targeted onto it. You've got the little dot of targeting. There's an annoying archer up there. 
Um, isn't Dark Souls fun, fun now that you're not dying to skeletons? Yes, Sleepy. It is fun now that I'm not dying to skeletons. Um, has been mentioned there's no way to use them. Then you'd lose them. Yes, that's what I'm like. I've got souls. I mean... How far back did we go? Because I'm like, I could level up and I would like to level up. Because then I could have more strength and then eventually I can use big person sword. No, 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 no! Okay, the arch is an idiot. Excellent. Good for me. You have a friend up here? Because I swear to god you did. <laughs> Hooray! And there was a door down there. I like that they get stuck on my feet. I find this highly enjoyable. More good luck. Okay. Um, if we're backtracking quite a way, so it's quite a way back. I thought the Dark Souls can remember sharing is caring. This white hander is so cool. It's a, um, a slam jammer move. I love this white hander because when I played um, Chivalry 1, I used to use it all the time. It was my favorite weapon to use. So seeing it here is great. A wooden shield? That's not just splinters of garbage. That's excellent. I actually might start being able to do things. Equip that, Jeff. Block. Right bumper block. And this is bash in face. I could, in theory, equip shields into both hands and just, like, turtle, right? There's clearly a, a arbalist tell us. I'm, no, no, I don't have the swyhander yet. Ah, uh, well, I, don't, I can't use it yet. Not a bad shield. It looks good to me. It's much better than my old one. You, c you could. It's not good, but you could. <laughs> you could, yes. You will not have fun doing it, but you could. It is a... The game will allow it. Oh, thank God I kept going forward. Imagine if I turned back then, just, like, to go all the way back to the other one. And it's like, it was right there, Talos. You were right there. Let's level up! Yep. Hooray for us! I'm so happy. <laughs> Uh, the wooden and the heater shield are some of my favorites. What's the, uh, the reasoning for that, um, Ismizl? What's the, the reasoning for that? Is that, like, a stat thing or a appearance thing? Oh, you're a broken staircase. That's fine. Good old bonfire. I'm never going to look at a bonfire the same now. Like, a sword in a fire. Looks like a sword. Um, it's just, it's going to forever mean so. It's going to be like the, um... The foe- Oh my god! I forgot that happened. By me, I died. Forgot they respawned. Forgot they respawned. So, this is a very interesting first play of Dark Souls and a Souls-like game at all. Here we go, play that. Okay, so they're both good- they're both light and have physical resistance and... The more stuff I have on me, right? In theory, kind of the worse. Because it will weigh me down. Do I have an overall... That weight. Oh, Jeff Yeetus. Jeff is in our school. The bonfire is actually a Berserker reference. I will try to point out the Berserker references from here on out. Oh, really? I didn't realize it was a Berserker reference. That's really cool. So, can you come in here? Because I don't want to face the archer. Actually, what I want is... Can you come in? Did you? Yes, okay. Finally, a successful block. All right, do it again. Okay, that's just running away, Talos. That's like a form of not getting hit. I agree, but no, I want to. I want to practice blocking on you. Doing it. So if I wanted to be cheeky, right, I could just stay here and I could forever have this gentleman coming and fighting me. Come on. Do it again. Okay, so... Okay, and then he can do an attack like that. Okay. Interesting. You guys are like, why are you letting him kill you? I just need to see something. Um... I could theoretically farm one hollow if I wanted. Okay. Hmm experimental death. I just want to see, like, it is, they do get into that little thing, so it's interesting. Um, they can't, they, 
Okay, I can't verbalize what my brain is doing right now, but I assure you it's thinking. Come on. Are you coming? Hurry up. Because I can actually practice on you. Now. It's easier if I get that first hit in. Um. Not looking so great right now. I'm on nine deaths. I figured you were pra you were parry practicing. I was until uh well, I was block practicing actually. I just wanted to block, but then I was kind of I wanted to know when they attack, sort of an interrupty thing, and how easily I can sort of do some stuff. And it's kind of answered that. Um, so it was kind of a I I was expecting to die then. That's what I was wanting it to do essentially. Um, just for my own brain to know what I'm doing. Um. Die. There you go. And you're all down there, but I don't care about you right now, because, no, don't care about them, Jeff. We've got other places to be. Other souls to claim. Um. Oh my god, who's doing that? Stop it, you prick! Just rude. Oh god. No, roll! Roll, you fool! Roll! Okay. You can dodge as well? Alright, you're here. Okay, interesting. That was the other thing I really wanted to know was can I be... Okay, that one, that was accident when I rolled into it. I want to know if when I'm drinking does it make me invulnerable? It does not. Okay. You can find a merchant nearby. Oh, excellent! I shall find them. Oh, the living room is my bet, and we are two hours in. Two more deaths, and I'm winning within winning range. Yes, you would be within winning range because we're on we're on ten now. There's a lot to miss out. No, that is fine, sleepy. Like I wouldn't call what you're doing backseat gaming for me because you're not telling me exactly. Like you're not saying when you go in, Talos, you must fight the uh, the skeleton on the left after two seconds of hitting it with your mace. Roll to the right and then hit it again. The other one that's coming in from the left hand corner. Um, like for me, that's more backseating. But saying to me, hey, there is a merchant nearby. FYI, like you're not pushing it. You're not saying to me, you must attend the merchant, Talos. Otherwise, you've ruined Dark Souls forever because you didn't talk to the merchant, just an FYI. Like, since you're not doing that, it's fine. Come on. Now. I'm gonna get so good at killing these two. Press the dodge button to dodge. Exactly. Lord, the, those perfect instructions. Exactly, right? Nope. Oh. Okay. We got a short sword. That's neat. Um, add a cure. And you know what? No, we're fighting Boning Boys. We'll keep the mace. It's going to roll in there. Now. Ow, I am now on fire. Can they do damage to each other? Come on. Everyone into the fun room. <laughs> And now we heal. What the hell? Who is that? That one had clothing on them. Um, they they can hurt each other, but it's rare. And hello, Ronan. How are you going? I hope you're going well. How did I forget it was Dark Souls today? It is. Look at Jeff. Look at this beautiful character we've made. We've made a beautiful Jeff. Uh, hopefully you get a cutscene soon. You can see her true face. Um, you're late to the first day of school. <laughs> You missed the death prediction too. Indeed, the first fight, it's, it's, uh, anyone want to catch Ronan up on what's, what's happened so far? Hey, I didn't go to the bonfire. Give me back my souls. Touchy, touchy, touchy. Alright. Can I open you? It doesn't open from this side. Alright, so Flamehead McGee is out there, so we're going to have to go murder him. He's being quite the prat, and I, I, I've been tired of him just flaming things. Alright, I think, I think I can see what I- Is there no pause in this game? There isn't. Interesting. Um... If I would do the same, just keep throwing. So would I. I would just keep throwing them. 
Um, running, running in with toast in their mouth. There is not. There is no pause. Interesting. So I, I definitely, for me, it's, it's going to be. I just need to get the timing down. That's what I'm. I'm doing some of it very wrong. Um. I can see, because, like, my brain keeps wanting to press different buttons. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to make it do this. But that's good, because, like, we'll do Dark Souls on the Saturday and the Sunday going forward. And that way, I won't, like, my brain should be like, cool, I now know what I'm doing. I'm doing this, like, these are the buttons to press. Instead of, like, randomly doing it here and there or something, or spreading it out with other streams in between. Because then I forget what I'm doing. Um, pillage this. A black firebomb. So I could be putting firebombs on these guys as well, if I wanted. Okay, but I'm not going to do that for now. This is fine. Now, where are you, Mr. Flamey Head? Oh, you've got lots of friends. Actually, screw that. Can I... No one's coming, are they? They are. Damn it! What the hell? Oh, they're all coming now, aren't they? I was going to get a firebomb and, and blow them up because I thought that might be fun since I hadn't tried it, but that's fine. Um, seems like a good thing you found something that stuns. Will that actually stun if I bash it so I can sh uh, ba like stun shield stun them? Um, so basically they're just fire. They're just py like fire pyromancy. Okay. Um, so it's just pyromancy, I which I've got. But do they do they do like an area of effect more than a singular target? I I do want to kind of use one because I've got it. So what's the difference? Bad idea. Bad idea. Bad idea. Okay. So if I wanted to equip that though, can I equip that? I can hear something in a terrifying. You know what? I'm gonna figure that out later. Not important right now. Wow! He just yeeted himself forward as hell, didn't he? I was like, this is fine. And then he's like, whoosh. Jeez, dude. Oh, wait, hang on. The guy I want to murder is up here. You know what? I'm going to set him on fire. I'm going to teach him a... Oh. There's several. Well, that did nothing. Oh my god, we're both just setting each other on fire. Now drink the potion. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, for a second there I thought you had a very late game armor set, then I realized it's the female version of the starter armor. <laughs> like I somehow have already managed, like that, you've missed so much Dark Souls, I'm already at the end. Um. I don't want a black a backseat, but you totally wasted the black bomb. It made my heart sink. Did I actually use a black bomb? I thought I used a, um... No, I did. You were right. <laughs> I thought I'd used a firebomb. What is the difference between a black bomb and a firebomb? Um... Firefight. The damage in the fireball, though. Okay. You're catching on quick. Thank you, Sleepy. I feel like I'm starting to get what it, it is wanting. Again, new game. So, like, its brain will go... I reckon tomorrow when we come back on Sunday to do it. It will be a lot smoother, cause like you know, you know, like the the old computer loading sound type thing you'd have when you're like trying to like load a screen page, like the d -d 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 thing happening on it. That's basically what my brain is doing right now. It's like this is different. Cannot just run in and stab things. <laughs> I have many soul. Hmm. I have many soul. But enemy respawn. Hmm. Oh good, the master key did something. I was getting very annoyed with that master key. Hmm. Uh, so much stronger. So much, much stronger. So I, I want to keep them for bosses and stuff. You know that sound. And sh okay, good. You, you, I'm glad. My lawyer has instructed me not to finish that, the many jokes I could make. <laughs> My lawyer said I should not proceed with this. <sighs> See, now I'm, I'm, I'm like, I got many soul. Want level up. But if I go back more enemy but then more soul and more level up so go back not be stupid level up yeah you can tell i start to think because i start just dropping off words in english tell is trying to think like because 
then that makes more sense. Yeah, because I go back. Because I'm not that far. And a lot of that was just me messing around. So I can go back and level up. So what does gold pine resin do, out of curiosity? Um... Make strong. Yes. I almost have enough to level up again. Can I... Did you guys say it was 15 or 16 I needed to have... this? Okay. Well then I won't put that on. Alright, off we go. Um... Grinding is grinding, and yes, the barbarians are showing up, so the hamster has begun moving. Indeed, the wheels are spinning, everyone. Things are things are clicking together. Eventually, you'll get to a point where you need too many souls to turn back right. I guess that would be the thing, wouldn't it, Is Ismizzle? Like, that, that's... How, so, am I pronouncing your name correctly, by the way? I, I is Mizzle, is Mizzle. If I just call you Mizzle, is that fine? Um, because I feel like my brain probably will. Um, but, yes, I can see, like, when I get to, like, oh, you need this many things, it's like, well, that's too far back to go. So it's a weapon buff. Thank you, Shadow. Okay, I just forgot that everyone respawned. I... You know what? That's fine. You guys aren't coming after me. Go back! Oh my god, that was a bad way to do things. Well, who had 10? Who had... We're at 11 now, so I think I may have... Was it you, someone, who said at least 11? Yes, it was you. Gold is lightning. Okay. Closer. Wow, epic fail. I completely stopped paying attention to the game as I was trying to talk to you all about what my thinking process was there. And in doing so, I forgot everyone spawned back. And I just basically walked into traffic was effectively what I did there. Um, they ganked me so bad. You are right, Daimor. Hey, tell us, can I tell you where the merchant is? Because I think you... Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. Sleep. You are kidding me. Anything like the merchant, I... anything like a merchant, I don't see a spoiler or anything like that. So feel free to tell me where the merchant is. Um, is the merchant... No. So, what we do, we come out here. Come look at me, I'm a, a beautiful... I'm sitting... Okay, he just fell off the edge. That's interesting. So that one just falls off the edge, and I still get the soul. So, bad joke, everyone. Um... <laughs> No, Corvus. See you tomorrow. You're like, just call it here. Someone's like, just call the stream right now. So bad, and then then you've, you've got it in the bag. Alright, so this is the bad joke. Yay or nay if you guys think this joke is funny. Um, who laced their shoes the quickest? It was a tie. That's stupid. I'm going to give you another one. I have kleptomania. How do you deal with that? How I do you deal with that? Oh my god. Support. The other one is also awful. But... There you go, guys. I've got both of them for you. And thank you so much for the follow as well, as Mizzle. I do super duper appreciate it. Um, that timing. I know, right? <laughs> that timing with the joke dun, 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 as it fell off the edge was quite good. Um, go back down the steps near the bonfire and look for those guys with the shields up. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. No, that's good. You liked that one. You guys liked that one. What does a balloon listen to? Pop music. <laughs> See, that's fun. Um, not gonna lie, you agree with with Barry. You guys liked that. Uh, that's so funny. Normally, you guys are like, these jokes are the worst. But that one, the one that I was like, that's a garbage joke. You guys are like, nah, that was great. Can you refocus on the guy in front of you, Jeff? Like, just the one trying to shoot around you. I know he's not the biggest threat. No, I, I need to. I want. Hmm. I can't quite interrupt myself. Ooh, that's my reclaimy stuff. So I'm gonna very quickly roll into here and reclaim myself. Oh my god, okay. That's fine. You can come after me all you want because we're gonna take you back here to where I'm safe. And then you die and you give me your soul. Yay for me. Um. The shoelace one was good. The shoelace one was good. You guys like the shoelace one. So he's dead. I've got my sword. I can level up, but then they'll come back. Tell us, don't do it. Just go forward, you fool. So go back to where, to where the shieldy guys are. Like, I can feel myself wanting to go and level up again. Like, I can level up. I'm just going to keep doing it. We're never going to leave the starting area. Why? Oh. 
did he just burst out of a barrel? Um. Oh, she got a humanity. She got she got a soft humanity. That truly joke just got chat tripping. <laughs> well done, Dale. Well done. <laughs> I like that. Um. I'm presently looking at SSDs and other stuff. Uh, and someone describing a hard drive as old spinning rust has made my day. That's amazing. Their hard drive is just old spinning dust. Graveyard in no invade world of graveyard sir grave lord who the hell is grave lord should i if i do this what how what's happening what happens if i do this good jokes don't take any explanation they're simple and to the point that's why stand-up comedy is just a storytelling explaining a joke is like directing a frog you can show how it works but the frog is dead <laughs> exactly i can show how it works but this what's the point uh don't really don't ignore that <laughs> Tell us no. Tell us bad. So sleepy. Over here is where um the merchant is here. Okay, so my fire doesn't ignore shield. That's good to know. I was wondering if like by virtue of being magical it could ignore stuff like that. Um, that range could be better. Yeah, the range isn't fantastic, is it? I have to get a little bit more close, closer than I want. Try dashing through it. I feel like, no, that's the thing, isn't it? You, the, the Dark Souls people leave notes that purposely screw other people over sometimes. Isn't that what happens? Like, like they do stuff and they like, they do it to screw with you. No, I didn't mean to, to drink that, you know. Oh my God, no. My God, I did not mean to do that. I was like, no, press this other button, and I just, yep, there you go. That's great. Ah, uh, the ace is good though. I surprised you hit it. But thank you. Chug, oh my god, this one is real. This one is real. I just chugged so much healing potion. Then. My character is so healed. Um, sleep. Um, that's some good SS flask. So refreshing. My character is so refreshed. Is this where the, the person is that you're you're wanting me to go to? Oh my god. Anywhere? Well now, you seem to have your wits about you, hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> you gotta love when someone uh, laughs. Okay, so repair would be useful later on, when I had like a weapon I actually cared about. Box allowing inventory management at bonfire. Do I not do that already? Short sword, scimitar, ah, scimitar. Rapier, reinforce, I, th these don't seem worth getting. Right now, I assume later on, I don't use arrows. Uh, that's all heavy. Interesting. So, would the bottomless box be worth getting? He's a good guy. He seems great. Um, health drink makes strong. The merchant sells orange uh, soap stones, which will let you upvote and make messages. Ah! Where is his... Right, and I can write anything I want, yeah? His voice, and then other people will find it? Um, his voice reminds me of, um, Flanders for some reason. <laughs> now I can't unhear it. <laughs> He's got some weapons and arrows, and the bottomless box is the best box ever. No, you essentially have a backpack you are pulling from. That box is a storage container. Ah! Okay. So, it would be worth getting. Um, instead of dropping stuff, you can bank it. Okay, then I'm going to get that. And then I will come back later on you, for the orange thing. And then I will leave a note. And it will be a beautiful note. And it will be the best note ever. And people will see it. And I use my last healing potion. We're going back to the bonfire because apparently I can't control myself. Why am I like this? I, this is what I meant was my brain keeps wanting to touch the wrong button. Because it's like, it just pressed the X. I'm like, don't do that, Talos. Is not the button to press, but this is fine. I've murdered everyone. We'll go back and we'll do some more killing. Turn human at the bonfire. Okay, so turn human. All right, how do I do that? So we'll try this. Instead of um, just a phone. AA is just a phone call away. <laughs> My character is just addicted. Okay, so to access this. So 
Can I? Use require soul, silver. What does that? Wait, hang on. Aren't they actually already? S you know what? That's fine. And then I can. I'll keep that on me for now. And that's all in the box. Okay. Um. Epic. Right, this container. Yes. Um. Rose holding is to become human, and then used to acquire souls. They just uh, consumables they give you. Oh, okay. So there's just there'd, there'd be no reason why I shouldn't just use them right now. So I just okay. Just use I like. There's no reason not to. Yeah. Maybe use more than one at a time. Tell us. Um. What's in the box? What's in the Hang on. What's in the box? Um, no, no, I don't want to use that yet. So hang on. Use item. Let me, let me use up all my collector soul things. Uh, it's 2 a.m. and I'm falling asleep in my chair. Have a good time zone. Well, thank you so much, Select State, for coming and dropping by. And a gigantic thank you for your resub of, again, 24 months. That's insane. And for the gifted subs you gave out to the community. That is so absolutely super duper amazing of you. Thank you so much for that. You have an absolutely fantastic rest of your time zone and a very good sleep. And I will catch you tomorrow in the Discord for the roleplay game. Um, it's going to be the dance party. Um, sleep well, Lunch Nick. Dream of Dark Souls. And then we're going to use this, use item six. Okay. So now can I level up? Yes. So me have much, me have much soul. Good speaking, Talos. No, no, I don't want that. Stop that. So it's 16, you guys said, yeah? A strength? Um, sleep well, Ozzy. If you press down the D-pad when it asks how many to use, it'll automatically go to max. Ah, thank you, Ronan. Um, thank you. So... And now, I know what we want to turn me human, but this is so much more important to me right now. Um, equip. No, why stats bad? I put 16 into me. How strong do I have to be for this goddamn sword? All right, because I'm assuming that there's ways that I can get more fireballs, right? Like I can actually get more spell. Alright, let's do this. You can press toggle details on the item screen and I'll show you information. Okay. Toggle details. Toggle. But you're my my explanation. Hit X on it. Hit X. Level up. Oh, so that will be... Okay, so... You said reverse hollowing? So, are we going to get an even sexier Jeff? Show me your face. And Kindle reverses it, yeah? <gasps> Look, guys! She's even better now. We can really see her face. Look at that. It's even better. It's like slightly less sunken. Can we view status? I swear there was a way that before I managed to... Oh, I want to... Uh, required parameters is 24... Sorry, I need 24 strength and 10 hand wave. <laughs> Whatever that is. Is that dexterity? It must be dexterity. God damn it. Okay, well, this Y hander has to go into the magic box then. Because that's going to take a while. I'm so sad. <laughs> Alright, go into the box. I can't do that because it's equipped. Let me unequip it. Yes, yeah, so hand wavy is dexterity. Excellent. Right, so that is, we're going to have to unequip that um, for now. But that's our goal. Our new goal is that one day we wield the Zwei Hander. Which we currently cannot. 
All right, bring me back. Access bottomless pit. Now we put you away. So we can take the weight. Because I want to try and keep my understanding is the weight as low as possible, right? Uh, actually, can I... Oh, I need 15 dexterity for the spear. That sucks. Okay, well, I might as well get rid of that as well. My character can do nothing. I should have probably gone a weapons one, right? Um, for, but again, I like the fire. So, you know what? No, I don't regret. I do like the fire. Okay, so there we are. We're back. We're not going to just down all our health potions this time. So I can use it if I... Really? Alright, hang on. Back to my bottom. My box must be so confused because I just keep reaching into it. And it's like, can you leave me alone? Like, go do something else. Um, this poor box I have. Come here. Alright. There you go. Bottomless box. Back to the pit. Now, here we are. Zweihander. Okay, that's fine. That is very slow, but I assume a lot of damage. You have your summit. Uh oh, hang on. Oh, you know what? Not Jesus Christ. Um. Not impressed with the Vihander right now, and I know that's because I just I'm not using it correctly. So we're just gonna go put it. I'm gonna go put that back. I have so many short swords. Are these not the same? And into there. Okay. Righto. Now we'll try to go forward. Um, your two-handed weapon gives you 1.5 strength. Right. You'd still need the dexterity. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we still need the dexterity. But, that's fine. We'll get there. We just have to level up. So we need to go get more souls. And hello, Big Harry Yeti. How are you going? I hope you're going good. Um... Phrasing. Are we not going to give that... <laughs> what phrasing there with the dexterity? I'm trying to think. How can you make dexterity dirty? So it is just equipped items. Then... Why have the bottomless box at all? No, no. Don't get his attention. We don't need it. There is an arrow in my face. So I believe it. Now that... So the benefit to being human is that I'm a bit stronger, right? Is that... No, 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 no! God damn it. I got cornered so hard there. Um. No, dexterity. Did you say dexterity? <laughs> dexterity. And I just drank a quote. I hate myself. I got this useful advice for you. Don't die. Follow these top tips to see you through. And don't die. But you're playing Dark Souls, so you're gonna die, you're gonna die, you're gonna die, you're gonna die. Oh, you die. <laughs> Thank you for the song, Dale. It is highly accurate. Oh. You can tell that, like, my brain has become overloaded because now I'm just messing up on the simple stuff. Come on. <laughs> Thank you for the lovely song. I, it is such a banger, isn't it? Okay. New soundboard indeed, Shadow. New soundboard. If you do phrasing, it'll do the count with phrasing without that plus test how, how many it's up to. Is that how many in, like, the history of Everberry? I forget. You die. Go away. Death for you. Now, unhog from him. Get your souls. Can I? I can't hit these pricks from up there, so I have to go into that room. Come on! 
Come on, buddy. Ooh, don't I? Okay. What? 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 What happened then? What? Uh. Um. There is a password system that lets you summon only other people with the password. You don't have any money that you can summon other characters to help you. Oh, I see. Last time the game may not have been you. Okay. Yeah, I didn't quit. You just kicked me. Um, did it crash? Stream over at 12 death summon this. <laughs> Someone you don't know wins. I think. We will probably call the stream here, maybe. Um, we've got about 15 minutes left of it. I just want to load. I think it, like, lost connection to the server. Um, Theorem is fun. Yeah, I think it just kind of lost connection there. Was what happened. That's interesting to note. Well, everyone's still dead, actually. So I have not lost anything. Are you going to come here? That was weird. Let's fight like gentlemen. Indeed. Um. Um, can you save and quit from anywhere on, or only bonfires? Oh, no, you can save and quit from the menu. Um, it auto saves everything. It's so oh, that's actually really cool that it does that. And you want to be summoned room. I think Drawl was also asking to be summoned. I, for now, I'm not going to summon guys, people into the game, everyone. Um, because otherwise it's, it's going to get messy. And then if I have got other people with me, then it's not really me learning the game. You know what I mean? Um, like later on when playing this, like further down the line, after I've got a few streams under my belt, um, I may end up summoning some people in maybe. Um, but I'm not going to do that early on. Otherwise, because like, it just, it's going to... Like, for now, I'm like, I, I you know, I want to see how I handle Dark Souls, not how another person experienced handles Dark Souls with me watching them play the game whilst I'm in the game, if that makes sense. Um. There is a person in here. Did I just kick him? I feel like my character just made a sound. Um. So you can quit anyway. I'd love to see you get to the first, uh, the first, the true first boss. You got, a, you got pretty close. So I got pretty close. Okay. Well, let's have a quick look. We'll see how close I can get. Because I must have been just there before I. Okay. And then they've gone down. And then I think I wandered off to go kill the. Uh, the guys flaming me before because I was like you're so annoying with your fire but I'm just gonna let them live I don't need to kill them right now and that was the chest and then there's more guys over there um so you're saying I booted up Dark Souls for nothing well you can always play Dark Souls yourself Ronan I like the notion that booting up Dark Souls takes that much effort to It's like, I went and I pressed the play button on Steam. Do you understand the effort I went to for that? Steam, Talos. I don't like that he's hiding out there. Like, he's just waiting for me to come around the corner. Well, that's fine, Ronan. I don't... Did someone ask you to go into Dark Souls? Like, did Barry say, can you get into Dark Souls or something? Like, I'm sorry that you you quit 76, but... Yeah. Well, that was a wonderful faceplant, wasn't it? I'm running low on summon, so I think the first boss I fight... shields a way to open them up to final attack. I didn't mean to do that. Please unsummon your hand, Jeff. Okay, are you gonna get are you gonna come? Oh god. There you go. I yes, there we are. Um. No, no, it's all good, Ronan. It's all good. Um, I'm gonna go play it, dude. Uh, doo -doo. all right. Hello, man. Come here. Oh 
god. Okay, there we are. He was really lining up that stab then. <gasps> oh my god. That's what's kind of getting me sometimes as well, is I don't expect them to... I kind of get used to, like, they do one hit, then they wait, and then they do something like that, where they send, like, three hits and you're dead. And I'm like, where did that happen? Um. Alright, so the first boss is... Soon, I saw... I The moment I, I turned that step, I was like, well... He's going to be a jerk, isn't he? But... It's just death. <laughs> oh, thank you, Shadow, for that. For the, it's just death. Um, it's just a little bit of death, guys. It's not major death. Just a little bit of death. Used a master key. What do I have in here? Oh, okay. I'm going down. I don't think this is the way to the final boss. That is so loud. I love it. Yes, it is. It's, it's always got the loud warning in there. I feel like, Sleepy, I'm going further away from the boss. Um. Death step. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello. A note. Why is there a note here? Charmer ahead. What is a charmer? Let's go find out. Try stabbing it in the back. Oh. That's hilarious. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? <laughs> is it people? Is it people? Um, but yes, um, we will call it there because it's about the time that I do. So we will, I will need to call it on that one. But that is, um, all right. Now that we're not in the graveyard with me being relentlessly just like smashed by skeletons. Um, I, I will say, yeah, I like Dark Souls. I'm enjoying the game. I'm genuinely, genuinely enjoying the experience. Um, it's fun just sort of learning how it all, it fits together. I really wish I was better at like parrying or blocking. Um, I wish I was better at that, but who won the prediction? Let's, let's have a look. I think someone, you must have, you, I think you got it. Um, did anyone else predict the same amount? Someone wins. Math, haha. <laughs> Math for the win. Um, if you get through the door behind him, you can skip three bosses. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like a, um, a cheat way to do it type thing. So you can just quickly go through up here. But yeah, um, this is one of those perils of the master key. That's why some people do not recommend master key for new players. It makes you go somewhere you don't belong and sometimes messes up their sense of direction. Ah, uh, okay. So you have them. So it's kind of like if you're a really experienced player. Um, so it goes to Aussie. Hang on. So the people who won the bet, it was... Uh, I don't have that. I've got Aussie and someone. Who was the third who bet that? Because you won as well. I'm not sure who it was, but they won. You won. Okay, excellent. So Drawber was also there. So it was Aussie, Drawber, and someone won. <laughs> And someone won. Um, but yes, so I can understand. Like, I, I see now, Sleepy, what you mean with the, the master key there. Like, the thief class would obviously be, if you're experienced, you get the master key. And as Drobber was saying, you can skip three bosses. You found the Havel Rock instead of the next boss. <laughs> of course I did. Of course I found the incorrect thing, right? Um, but no, I am a big fan of Dark Souls so far. Really liking it. Um... Obviously, we'll be back tomorrow with more. Um, so we'll be doing more of it tomorrow. Um, and then we'll have Final Fantasy on Tuesday. And then we'll be finishing My Friendly Neighborhood on Thursday. Um, so yeah, and then I think it's going to be kind of a mix of Dark Souls, Final Fantasy going forward for a little bit. Um, but then October is coming up. So for October, we do usually do spooky games. So I'll, I'll have a look and see what's happening with that. But that's it. And also, um, FYI, if anyone who wanted to watch Indiana Jones, and I think it's not the Crystal Skull, is it? The Temple of Doom. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, that's on this Friday coming that we're streaming in the Discord at 8pm Melbourne time. So anyone wanting to join in for that, if you go into the Discord, there should be a little event at the top right that you can hit, um, like, interested in, and then you'll be sent a reminder when it starts. Like, you get a little at thing. So anyone in the Discord wanting to watch that, that is up there. Temple of Doom, indeed. I'm looking forward to it. I've never, I, I've only seen the first Indiana Jones film, so I look forward to it. Um, oh my god, I won. I believed in you, Talos. Well, thank you, Ozzy. Thank you. This lineup is nuts. Which lineup? The lineup of the games I have currently sleeping, or just check the points? And damn, you two should have backed yourselves more. Aussie cleaned house. Wow. Oh god. <laughs> I'm just imagining your hunt for the bird noises begins again. Um, that or the art redemption, which I do need to turn on, and I do shadow owe you an art redeem, which I will be trying to do tonight. So hopefully, watch the Discord for that shadow. That should be out tonight. 
she says. Um, and then I'll be turning Art Redeem back on. So, Ozzy, I'm going to assume something kill-based. Um, you just put in 10 points. You're like, I, I don't know. You didn't have that much faith. Um, it would have... Oh, it restricted you only 20-someone. That's interesting. Ooh, baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. Floating in the park. Wow. Baby Yoda. We were leaving on a good note. Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. Very small the absolute worst thing about that thank you for that shadow thank you for cursing me there the absolute worst thing about that now is after after electro had done it at the very start like way back then those first intro chords at first i hadn't known but now already after just one play of that song having those intro chords back in my head i'm just like the moment it starts it's like there's a moment of confusion as my brain tries to pick it and then it does and it's just uh um but yes thank you all so much for jumping in and joining me i do super duper appreciate it um a big thank you as well to those who just watch the vods or just you know silently lurk in the corner judging as the deaths come rolling in but a big thank you to uh to everyone who does do that and obviously a huge shout out to lunch snake who very 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 generously gave out five gifted subs and resubbed himself um but uh, I'm gonna go take out maybe a taco taco for no, Rosie. Why? Why would you? Why do you guys put baby Yoda, Yoda, and then taco taco burrito burrito taco taco my taco flavored kiss every time? I can't help it. It's like a freaking tick. <sighs> Um, and I'm glad it was a fun day. I'm definitely having fun. But you all have an and hello disco. How are you going? I hope you're going well. You've just come in time for, for the end of the stream. But I hope you all have an absolutely um this is much needed series for me. Tells has further solidified herself as the best stream I ever watched. <laughs> Thank you, Sleepy. But you will have I'm not sure how much you guys can hear it right now. I may end up having to get Barry to turn that up because that was actual Grogu just then. So thank you, Barry. I, I wasn't aware you'd put that on the soundboard. So thank you. That's For those who are unaware what was happening there, I had my music playing, which may have drowned it out, but Dale just played actual physical Baby Yoda making Baby Yoda sounds, and I am disgusted. Barry, that was cruel to put on there. That was cruel to put that onto the soundboard. <laughs> Baby Yoda. Oh God, I hate him so much. And when he's talking to the Mandalorian, it makes me so... Oh my God. Ah, alrighty. I hate the sound of him. It's just the gurgling. This is going to be in my head now. This is like almost somehow worse than the songs. The song tunes get stuck in my head. When I hear it talking. Um... Uh, anyway, <laughs> now that I'll go off and be angry in a corner, <laughs> angry but happy. Oh, stupid baby. I just don't understand why he's so popular. Look, now we've started a rant. Me trying to close the stream. Sounds of Baby Yoda. Almost got a train. You almost got a train. Ooh. Um, but yes, I'll close this now before I start an actual full-on rant. Thank you all so much for jumping in and joining me. You all have an absolutely fantastic rest of your time zone, or wherever you all are. And I will catch you next time. Bye!